And what about uh, on the phone? Should I? What am I going to do? Uh, should I do TikTok on the phone? All right, cool. All right. And Alpha Incorporated 360 CEO back again. Teaching you how to get that 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000, even a million dollars from the bank. That's pennies. All right. All right. Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs. Let's see if we can get over to uh boom. Boom and boom and boom 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 boom. All right. And my account. And Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs. We are here to give you what nobody is going to give you on the internet. And I'm going to come with some new stuff today. So get your pencil and your paper. <laughs> Let's see. Occurrence by the seven and start. Wow. March. Not launching, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. All right, and go on the computer, audio. Let's see. All right, thank you everybody for being here. Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs, we are not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, we are consultants, right? And thank you for everybody for being here. Dean Muhammad, thank you, brother. All right. Please keep calm. We are starting soon. All right. Everybody out there in uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, uh, the Zoom. This is live. This is 360 CEO, and we are live. And if you want, you can hop on to economicministry.com, 360 CEO. First thing I want you to do is to grab a pencil and a piece of paper because we may be talking about some things that you've never heard before. So I'm going to divert just a little bit today. I'm going to divert just a little bit today because uh, uh, I'm feeling super hot, you know, ready, ready to go. We just went out to uh, uh, the theater out in, in uh, what was that, Philadelphia. We were in Philadelphia out there with, with Herman the Haitian. And uh, thank you, Herman. We had a great time. Wonderful, wonderful time. We fought. We went off. We showed up. We showed out. And uh, thank you again for uh, uh, thank you again for being out there with me uh, and being together, Herman and everybody else that was there. Boy, what a great time! And we had two days of uh, teaching and educating. Uh, it was. Excellent. Hello from Japan. Right. Wow, that's heavy. Japan. Edmund Hughes. Blueprint was absolutely amazing. Yeah, Blueprint was off the chain, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. We just left Florida and we was on that yacht. I'm in a 128 foot yacht. We, we, we taught, we taught, we taught, we taught. Right. And then we had a, then we had an after party. Then we had a, then we had a yacht. We had food and we had dance and Oh man, it was great. Do it. <laughs> uh, 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 Herman. Oh man, he, he had uh, uh, Nick Storm. Nick Storm to make all the liquor for all the all the stars, right? Nick Storm, everybody was there. So. We want you to be able to do that same kind of experience. So we want to do is now we want to start out by showing you how to get that money so you can start renting out yachts and, and being on yachts and all that stuff, right? All right. So Derek White right here, what you learned today is the secrets of how to get 
200, $300,000, $500,000, even invest it and enjoy, to enjoy your money and, and help your family. I want you to teach your children. First thing I want you to do is get, uh, it's time to work. That's right. <laughs> so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to grab a pencil and a piece of paper because I may say some things that you've never heard before. So I'm going to divert a little bit today. And we're going to go into uh, a few things. Uh, that's right. We're going to teach you this for free on the internet. Nobody. Right. <laughs> All right. So uh, next slide. What we want to do is we want to go and show you the secret. The secrets about to get one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars, even a million dollars in the bank. And I understand banking at a high level, so believe me, uh, there's levels to this thing. So a lot of people they come on and they teach you about, you know, how to get that, you know, one hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars. You know, I mean that's that's decent money, but you know, what you gonna do with that? <laughs> All right, so you want to go and get some seed money. So we're going to get that seed money. There's the next level. So we want to go and have to get that seed money. And that's right. I'm going to go right in into it today. Now, next slide, please. So once we are going to get that seed money, is this only for U.S. banking? Uh, this is for U.S. banking right now, but we're introducing something that, uh, in a minute where we want to show you um, uh, how to get money through a PIN. That's not an EIN, but a TIN, and that's if you're uh, out, if you're uh, outside the country, if you're not a citizen, rather, uh, you can work at a corporation with a TIN. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. Um, uh, so where was I at? We want to make sure that you grab a pencil and a piece of paper. Uh, okay, I'm going to answer all your questions after we get through this. And then we're going to have question and answers. That's going to be free. So what I want you to do is grab a pencil and a piece of paper. And also, if you have children, get them off that internet, right? Get them sitting in front of here so that they can learn some of this stuff because they can learn whatever you put in them, whatever you teach them. If you start learning and teaching them rockets, they will grow up being coming to rocket scientists. But we need some money. So first of all, I want you to go in and bring the children, have them sit down and have a chair next to, next to you and say, you know, and then ask them questions. You know, what's the corporation? You know, what's the, you know, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, how do you get money from the bank? You know, what's funding mean? Ask them questions. Ask them questions. Because I want to teach them more than I want to teach you. <laughs> we got to teach the babies. All right. So, uh, let's get it popping. You got your pencil, your paper. Uh, you know, those of you that have been here before, we might divert a little bit because we want to take you to another level. There's levels to this thing. As I said, we want one, two, three, five hundred thousand dollars a million from the bank. But once you get a million dollars from the bank, then what are you going to do with it? So we want to get into a little bit of that of how you can go in and do some hedge funding. Don't get your hedge fund money. Get get the hedge fund that 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 sells the property and then a hedge fund that buys the property. So all you gotta do is get an assignment and get the property and take that under control and then sell it right away to the hedge fund, right? The biggest problem is getting the money for the property, right? But guess what? You got a property that's gonna buy the property, a, a fund that's gonna buy the property and then you told me why you're not worried about the money. Then you also have somebody that's gonna, that's gonna uh, uh, purchase the property when you acquire it, okay? So that's how you're going to make that good money, right? So we're not going to do everything like they do on the internet, right? We got to be smarter and quicker than everybody on that internet, all right? So uh, let's get to popping. So I see, I see my son out there. Rob, how's it going, man? You ain't been talking lately. What's going on, brother? Robert, how's it going, brother? <laughs> All right. What about a hedge fund for acquisitions? That's exactly what I said. The hedge fund uh, uh, for acquiring notes, it's the same thing. You acquire the property, you acquire the note. Uh, let's save that for question and answers. But we want to be able to go to the high level. We want to start doing that high level, right? Hey, Pops, how are you? Mr. Seminar. That's okay. 
We'll have another one. How's the family? Everybody all right? All right. Yeah, that's uh that's Robert. Robert is uh Robert, that's my son, man. That's the poster boy of success. Okay. Robert, uh, for you those of you that's out here on on uh I believe that's uh Instagram. Uh Robert is a success story. Robert came in and, and uh went through some trials and errors and, and some little things that he went through, came out. Got to stay together, and Robert is now a success story. All right, that's my man right there. All right, I miss you and love you too, son. All right, and Robert knows a lot about this stuff. Robert's been here for a long time. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's get to it. Hey, Mr. White, they call you these two. Can be your son? You damn sure can. You damn sure can. I consider you all to be my son, even if I'm older than you. I need for you to get this information and teach your children. Okay? So now, with CEO, uh, where are we at? Derek Whitehead, that's who we are. So I'm going to follow this script for a second, and I'm uh, going to go into a little bit about me, but I'm not going to talk a whole bunch about me, because you didn't come here to hear about me. You came here to hear about you and how you can get it. Right? My son's watching Derek. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So, uh, just uh, some people say, well, who are you, Mr. Whitehead? You know, what, what, you know, where you come from? Who are you? So let me talk about five minutes about me. Then we're done with that. But you came here to figure out how you can get some money, right? Now you can take care of your family and you can go in and not have to worry about money and become an accredited investor. Boom. That's what we're going to. We're striving to be an accredited investor. What does that mean? That means you can lose $250,000. You can lose $250,000 and it's not going to hurt your family and they will see that you are fully accredited. Not, we're not, I'm not talking about Bitcoin accredited. I'm talking about, I'm talking about real money accredited. All right. So now, uh, I'm glad and very proud of everybody out there that is, uh, you know, in the credit game. I, I, you know, a lot of times I don't say this. But I'm extremely proud of those that's out there in the credit game, those that's out there, uh, you know, all the cats, Neo and Him 500 and all those cats that, you know, laid the foundation. You know, uh, I'm not familiar with everything, but I know that they do. But I know that they are foundation of a lot of this. And, and um, I want to give a half off to those guys because, you know, uh, Nobody was talking about this stuff. Nobody was talking about it. I've been doing this stuff for 30 years. They didn't even have computers. But, you know, when the new age came around, they were, you know, out there doing their thing and educating. Now people are beginning to, to open their eyes up and say, whoa, there's something else besides, you know, uh, working. <laughs> you know, like working, digging ditches and, you know, going to work every day, you know, working for self. Right. So uh, I applaud those guys. And uh, I don't know if they ever listen to me, but I want them to know I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so uh, in saying that, uh, Derek White is CEO of Alfred Incorporated, 30 years of business, high end banking, uh, manages over under management, 20.2 billion under management. That's not a lot. Don't think about that as a lot because, you know, uh, when you're around people in high finance and they are, and they, and they, they have like, a hundred billion, two hundred billion dollar hedge fund, right? They, you look like a baby. They say, Derek, go get us some coffee. I say, okay, what, what kind you want? <laughs> right? So don't be afraid of the big numbers. All right. I want to stress to everybody out there, don't be afraid of the big numbers. Go hard or go home. Right? All right. So uh next slide. We're not gonna talk too much about me because we don't have enough time. I could talk for 30 years, I mean, uh, uh, 30 years of knowledge, 28, almost 30 years of knowledge of finance, right? Guess what? I could talk this stuff for a much straight and still not exhaust the stuff that I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting stuff that I, <laughs> that I, you know, so, you know, I'm an old guy, you know, I'm not like the young cats out here that's doing it. I just look like this. I was around when, uh, I remember Jesus. I remember, I was around with dirt, right? <laughs> So, okay, 
Derek White is uh, funded and helped politicians, congressmen, athletes, uh, entrepreneurs to scale their, uh, to, uh, scale their companies and multi million dollar businesses. And uh, over there is a buddy of mine, Catino Mobley, great basketball player, great guy, smart guy. Um, uh, haven't, haven't called him for a minute. He's probably upset at me. Hey, man, why you call me? <laughs> uh, but that's my buddy, and that's my main man, Catino Mobley. Uh, played for the LA Clippers. He played for uh, the Houston Rockets. Uh, lefty. Boom. See, no, he don't miss. Right? <laughs> and, um, you know, you can see him on our website, economicmacy.com, 360 CEOs, we call ourselves. Economicmacy.com. You can go in there and see Catino saying, thank you, Derek, for everything you teach me. Just because you're a senator, a basketball player, football player, congressman, whatever, doesn't mean you understand finance. Right? Doesn't mean you understand finance. So he's on our page saying, thank you, Derek, for the testimonial page. And by the way, we have real people on the testimonial page, not fake people, real people. Right? People like, people like, uh, Phil Martin is on there. He's saying, hey, thank you, Derek, of Riverside Appliance. Phil Martin of Riverside Appliance. Riverside Appliance in Temecula, California. Just call him up. I mean, Phil is, uh, we helped Phil build a $35 million business. You're not playing with any there. This bill is uh and now you just got a five million dollar contract. A five million dollar contract with the government for, to sell mattresses. Right? So uh Phil is doing great. And uh please don't bombard Phil with going by the store. Phil says, Derek, people are coming by the store. So, well good, that's great publicity, Phil. <laughs> okay. So over there, great Shante Moore and myself. Over there is uh is uh the lady in the red hat and the red dress. Over there, she, that is um Dr. Shirley Weber, she's the Secretary of State, and myself in the tuxedo. Over here is Kimberly Ellis. Kimberly Ellis is uh, ran for the president for the uh, president of the Democratic Party. Nice, nice person. Very nice person. Smart, right? Over there is a senator and myself in the tuxedo. Down there is a congresswoman and myself. Over there in the middle is a guy with the red tie. That guy was uh, counsel for two presidents. Right over there is. Uh, as a congresswoman, myself, and the great Taisha Brown. Look up Taisha Brown in San Diego. She is uh, she helps politicians get elected. That's what she does. She's another backdoor person that you don't see out in the front. But look her up. She's the first of this, the first of that, first of this. The great Taisha Brown. She's also on our testimonial page on economicmatrix.com saying, thank you, Mr. White, for all that you teach me and have taught me. Right? Um, down there is Mr. Uh, Carnitas. Mr. Carnitas is with the, with the glasses on. That was the president of the Mexican, uh, of the Mexican party. The Mexican Union. The Mexican Union. All right. Over there is, uh, Taisha Brown and myself and the council for two presidents. Over there is the congressman. You see, it's the Congress pin on, right? Old guy been around forever and, uh, and uh, I was at the Democratic Party talking to these people. And um, and uh, very nice guy. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican, just so you understand. I'm a, I'm a independent. I'm an independent. So don't say, well, that's, that's the Democratic Party. No, I'm an independent. I know some people need tax breaks, like me, right? And some people need a hand up. Not a handout, just a hand up. Just some help. So they can go get some seed money, then they can move it on up. So. I'm an independent. I think there's room for both both parties to balance each other out. Uh, so once that guy gets a hold of your hand, man, hey, Mr. White, come here. You cannot get away from him, boy. He's like, that is friend. You know, I, I was friends with the Kennedys. You know, John was, I knew that guy. He's a great guy, smart guy, wonderful guy, wonderful representative. Over there, these two guys flew down in their, in their jet and uh, down to my office on 7th and B. On, in the university club, and uh, you have to be invited. They've been around since the 1800s. You have a court of appeal over the top, and a lot of people make big, big, big deals there. Uh, we're on the 34th floor, uh, and nobody's that big where they can't come in and say hello. So I had some students come down and say, Mr. Whitehead, I went there. You wasn't there. I said, I don't live there. You got to come there and let me know you're coming. So they, um, so they came down. We came to my house, and then we went out and uh, – uh, took her to my ranch and we did some shooting and, uh, we came back down and, and I forgot, we went to dinner. We had a great time 
Uh, so nobody too big to say hello, all right? Unless you're doing something behind the curtain that you ain't supposed to be doing, right? That ain't me. So uh, they said, Derek, don't say our name. I mean, don't don't say our name. So I said, okay, can I show you a picture? They said, okay. So um, uh, they came down and we get to deliver. If I tell you the name of their company, you'd be like, what? You know, yeah, these guys are bad. <laughs> um, so over there to the right, that's my buddy, my buddy uh, Witherspoon, and uh, uh, great guy, wonderful guy, one of the smartest, nicest, funniest guys. You, you probably seen him with Ice Cube and, and Fridays and all that. Rest in peace, my brother, and since passed away. Uh, and rest in peace, good, good, good brother. Good brother. Uh, all right, so that's enough about me. Boom, you can go over and you can see Tyson Brown, you can see Patino, you can see a lot of people on the website, Bill Martin, $35 million business. So uh, we also have um, we also have uh, American Express that was on stage with us. Those that was out there at the seminar in uh, in uh, in Florida, we had American Express that is up there with us. You know, great deal of legitimacy. We have American Express uh, that is that is saying, you know, uh, Alfred Incorporated, uh, Economic mystery is all right with us, right? So we're not just some people out there that's just playing games. You know, we have a legitimacy of actual banks and uh, people that are saying we are uh, we're all right with you. And so now I think we have two more banks that are coming aboard too because they like what we're doing and they want to see you succeed. All right, they want to see you succeed. So I'm going to be coming out with some some more stuff. I'm just giving you piece by piece. By peace, because if I gave you everything, you'd go insane. <laughs> you say, oh, the money, the money, the money. <laughs> All right, so um, we have some more good stuff coming. Uh, I want to expose to uh, to you, and I want it to rub off on you as as also like uh, being able to what, what's the real estate. Once you get the money, what are you going to do with it? You got to do something with the money, right? So uh, we don't want to do all this hard work. Right? We don't want to do all this hard work. So we have to know ways of what to do with the money. And 75% of all people who become millionaires in this in this United States every year come through real estate. That's why they call it real estate. Because it's real. The money that we use it is not real. It's fiat money backed by nothing. Right? So we got to use get that money and get a lot of it and then take it and put it into something real. Because anything can happen with that money at any time, right? So we want to make sure that we do things right. We do things, uh, uh, make sure that we do things legal, right? And make sure that you, as you, the person said there, manifest, as I said out there in Herman, uh, we are gods and goddesses. And we are just having a human experience, right? So we can manifest what we will and make sure that you put in your brain exactly what you want. Don't go in and say, I want to do marketing when you want money. Let me say that again. Don't go in and say, you want to do uh, 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 sell computers when you want money. Don't go in and say, I want all this other stuff. You want money so you can get computers to sell so you can make more money. But if you had a genie that said, oh, genie, you get one wish, genie in the lamp. The genie says, what do you want? Says, I want some money. And then you turn around and he says, okay, you have one wish. Here's your money. Where's the money? Underneath the table. You look underneath the table, some, it's, you know, five dollars worth of change. That's money. So you have to be very specific in what you're talking about, what you want. Manifest what you want. So you have to say, I want some money, right? I want how much money? I want a billion dollars, right? And I not only do I want a billion dollars, but don't say I want a billion dollars. And, and then the genie laughs at you and got you a billion dollars 60 years from now. <laughs> you know, he's laughing, right? <laughs> right? So you got to say, I want a billion dollars, right? And I, and I want it in, in gold, in silver, or cash. And I, want, and I want it now. Now, within the next year, I want it. So now you've got, you're being very, not broad, but very serious about what you want. 
So don't, a lot of people out here, they think that they have to do business. So this thing here is a corporation. The corporation is met, right? Right? <laughs> so the corporation is to get money to do business, not to, not to do business to get money. Let me say that again, because people don't really understand the concept, right? You don't work and work and work with a business and work and work and work trying to make money to do business. You get money from the bank with this thing to get money. So you get money to do business. And then after you get the money, you do the business. You don't do business to get money. You're figuring out how to do what I can do so I can go get the money. That's the biggest mistake that most people make. I want to figure out what can I do to get some money? Hmm. Sleeping all night. I got an idea, honey. What's your idea? Now, if I go buy uh, this guy selling these TVs. If I go buy 20 of them TVs and they sell for 10,000, he's selling for 1,000, I make $9,000 profit. If I keep doing that, then by the end of five years, we'll be multi-millionaires. <laughs> really? Okay. Why not say, I want some money? And take this thing right here and build it up and go to the bank and go get some money. Isn't that what you really want? I know, I know it's a hard concept to get through, but I'm going to keep pushing and pushing, pushing and pushing until you get it. I want you to understand that you need this thing is a special purpose entity. It is an entity, a person. You're a person. And the reason this is formed is so that you can take this and go to the bank and use this to transfer this into money. That's what that's for. Got it? This is your straw man. <laughs> All right? So I want you to understand how the people with money do it. Right. I don't want you to be running around talking about I'm going to open a liquor store and then I'm going to sell a bunch of liquor. Then I'm going to get a bunch of licensing and then I'm going to get a bunch of people to work in a store and then I'm going to stock up the store with liquor and beer. And then I'm going to then I'm going to tap out every day and see how much money profit I made from selling all this. <laughs> when you say, you know what? I'm going to get away one of these like the rich people do and go to the bank and go say, I got this, this is Willie, and Willie wants some money, because Willie's a person, and you made Willie specifically so that you could give Willie some money so that Willie can help you, Mr. Bank. I know what's up. Now, how does that work? This is a special purpose entity. This special purpose entity goes in, and you take it and build it up as a person, and you are responsible for nothing, and it is responsible for everything. You control everything and own nothing, right? So if Willie comes in and Willie borrows the money, you say, who's going to borrow the money? Willie going to borrow the money. And then if Willie screws up, I don't want you to think that you're going to mess the bank up. But sometimes things happen, right? So if Willie screws up, you say, oh, no, Willie's got bad credit and Willie can't get me more money. Unlike you, if you mess up, and you get bad credit, no more money, right? Seven years of bad luck, like you broke a mirror, <laughs> right? Okay, but if Willie mess up, you say, oh, no. The bank says, nope, Willie not getting any more money. No, Willie done got bad. Willie done mess up. He says, sorry. <laughs> Bye, Willie. And you come back, you walk out to your car, and you bring in Leroy. Can Leroy get some money? Leroy didn't do anything with you, right? So now next thing you say is, sure. Sure. It says, okay, now Leroy messed up. Unlike you, Leroy says, okay, sorry, well, Leroy didn't mess up. Oh, no. Bye. Bye. And you walk back in your car, and you pull out Wilhelmina. <laughs> you say, can Wilhelmina get some money? Now, why would the bank do that? Because the bank has a special relationship with the corporation. Maybe you didn't know that, but if the corporation, Bars or you borrow a thousand dollars from the bank 
the bank now has nine times more whatever they lent Willie. So you think that the bank does not want to give Willie some money? So that's the game. They said, you create the court. The bank will never fail. The bank will be nine times richer for whatever. So if the bank lends Willie a, a hundred thousand dollars, guess what? The bank now has a million dollars on their books. You just helped them get a million dollars and they helped you give you a hundred thousand dollars. Quit pro quo. I want anybody to understand that? That's called quit pro quo. You do something for me, I do something for you. That's the way this works. I know it's a hard pill to swallow. Ah, that can't be true. You can't believe it. Ah, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. All right, stop playing. Stop it. All right, stop while it's working. Talking about the, the straightest line to anywhere, the fastest way to anywhere is a straight line. So why go over here and buy uh, buy a car, get a car dealership license like we have, right? Right. Why go over here and get a car dealer's license and then buy up all these cars and then hire, get this lot so that you can clean the cars and put the cars in an advertisement. And then, and then whatever is with the car, you got to put new tires or whatever you got to do to clean it up and all that. And then you got to get it, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, like uh, all these licenses, and this, and, and and then you got to go get a, a the uh uh what do they call that? Uh, they got to get the license bond. Now bond is very important. We might get into that a little later on. They got to get the bonding, right? You got to be bonded to be a dealer, right? And insurance. And then the people that go work and sell the cars with you, you can't do it all. You got to do all. I can go on and on and on. And look, we have two, two car dealerships. I know this game too, right? Primo and Prime Auto. Primo and Prime Auto, right? Two car dealerships. We sell Honda, Jaguar, Mercedes, BM. We sell Honda, Toyota, and, and uh, Mercedes Primo. And uh, Honda, Toyota, Nissan, that's the low end. The high end, we sell Jaguar, Mercedes, BMW, and Bentley. 6920 Miramar Road, San Diego, lovely San Diego, California. If you're looking for a luxury car, <laughs> pre-owned, 109 point inspection, luxury car, please see us at Remo of Prime Auto. <laughs> right, okay, plug, plug. All right, so now. Why do all of that? If I'd have known this 30 years ago, I wouldn't have started no daggone car dealership, <laughs> right? <laughs> all right, you gonna go and get a restaurant, right? Go get a restaurant. And guess what? Now you gotta get the restaurant, you gotta get the location, you gotta buy the food, you gotta have the employees, you gotta have the, uh, 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 the licensing, the insurance, you gotta pay on the building, you gotta pay. Oh, how do I know? I had a chain of restaurants. Okay. Post style fish and chips. A chain of restaurants. And this is a community service, home style fish and chips, because, you know, uh, I love the children. So we give uh, you about $250,000. Uh, we used to give $250,000 every year to the children for the Toy Land Parade, right? Toy Land Parade, so that the children can have toys, you know, because I care. I want you to teach your children, all right? But you're going to get all this stuff. You're going to sell all this fish and chips. It was home style fish and chips and a um, pretty famous restaurant, a chain. And why? Why? When all I had to do, I, I did all that. Why? So that at the end of the day, I could, I could. Cash out and look at how much profit I made, how much money I made. I went through all of that. When all I had to do was go in and get a corporation and go get some money. Gee. <laughs> and 
it's unbelievable. Like, right? Sometimes, uh, sometimes I cannot understand. Okay, Mr. Derrick's preaching again. All right, so next slide. They should teach us this stuff in grammar school, in high school, because we all need money like we need to breathe. We need food. We need clothing. Right? So directly from you, walk to the bank and then go to the liquor store. Don't go to the liquor store because I'm so tired and get me a six pack at the end of the day because I've been working all day for the man. Now let me get a six pack so I can wind down and relax. Or some, you know, you ladies get a nice little glass of wine, go to the liquor store. I'm going to get me a glass of wine today. You know, we can wind down. You know what I mean? No. Because you've been working 10 hours all day. My girl, my feet, girl. I've been in these heels all day. <laughs> you know, oh, girl, is this a varicose vein? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, look at my back. <laughs> no, we don't want to do all that. No, that's over. Over, over, over. So what we want to do is we're going to go anywhere. Else. <laughs> Stand up all day, <laughs> pulling people's teeth out. <laughs> Look, go directly to the bank and go get some money. That's it. My dog's is barking. I just said, who is that, Drew Schiller? Woo! Even you brothers out there, like, baby, I'm so tired. I'll be later. You know, can you give me a beer? You know, no, go to the bank first and then go to the liquor store and celebrate you just we got some more money. And they say, how you get that Mercedes? You got a new job? Yeah, I got a new job, all right. I got a new job walking in that bank. <laughs> if I'm gonna have varicose veins, it's gonna be, a, I'm standing in line waiting to get some of that money out the bank. <laughs> Mr. White, okay, preach it again. All right, so I'll stop, okay. So now, we are not brokers, we are not attorneys, we are not finders, we are tax, we are not tax people. We are none of those. We are not, uh, we're not funders, we're none of that. We are consultants, and we're here to give you this information because, uh, we believe everyone out there is a friend. So now, we, since we believe we're a friend, we will continue to give you this information freely. Now, this is free. Anybody that's out there, this is free, and you can ask questions and answers, uh, and not too long from now, we're going to have Question and answers, this is live, this is not Memorex. And uh, you can hop on the economic mason, <laughs> brilliant comedian. <laughs> Look, if I don't laugh, I'll go crazy in this room. All I do is sit in here all day. I don't have a life. <laughs> That's why I lost my family. It's like, you, all you do is work. You never take one. I said, baby, I got to get this money. Do we have enough money? We never go anywhere. You don't do anything. You have anything? I'm leaving you. <laughs> I said, he said, I said, well, you're my wife. He said, no, yo, you already have a wife. I'm the mistress. <laughs> it's just funny now. It wasn't funny then. <laughs> oh, my Lord, have mercy. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we're not brokers. If you're looking for uh, motivation with not Tony Robbins, I think that's next door, right? If you're looking to help your family and get some money uh, from our perspective, this information is from our perspective, all right? So uh, let's go on the next slide, and now let's get it on. What I first want to do is, is talk to you guys about a little foundation. So what we're going to do is we're going to do credit, corporation, and funding. Credit for fund. Got it? Credit for fund. And we're not going to spend too much time on this. Because I want to spend a little more time on some of the things that we don't talk about. All right. So we're going to shorten this down. Uh, a lot of people have been on here before. And I, I kind of go over this because I want everybody to understand the benefit and how to do this. But we're going to go through this real fast because there's some other things I want to hit on and talk about uh, that we do not have not talked about before. All right. So the first thing is credit corporation funding. So you want to get some seed money. Have some foundation capital. <clears throat> Pardon me, my voice did not come back <clears throat> that well from uh, all these uh, traveling and seminars and stuff. So forgive me. <laughs> so uh, credit corporation funding, get your seed money, your foundation capital, springboard funding. That's how we're going to do it. You need a little seed money. 
they can do something. Then you're going to get that that uh, foundation. If you don't have a proper foundation, the, the, the house will fall. So you got to have a, a good corporation, corporate foundation. Everybody just talks about money, but you can get the money, but if you don't have the proper foundation to protect it, right, to know how to uh, 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 maneuver it, guess what? You're not going to keep it for long. And there's rules to this. Nobody's teaching you the rules, right? So if you go by the rules, 99% of the time, you can say you will win. You will win. If you go, if you go against the rules, 99% of the time, you will fail eventually. Because there's rules to this. And they've been doing this stuff since Rome. So don't try to reinvent the wheel. All right? All right. So the U.S. United States Corporation out of Delaware, right? And you are the state the corporation, the city the corporation, and the people the corporation. If you don't believe me, turn over your uh, court, uh, look at your social and look on the back at your corporate number. That's why you got to go to a judge to separate two corporations for tax reasons when you get a divorce. All right. So a corp is a person, a corporation. They made this thing a person, but they're not responsible for anything. It is. So if you're not doing things in a corporation the proper way, you don't even have a business. If you are doing business as, your, as yourself, you don't have a business. You're doing business as yourself and your mother and father never made a corporation or a business. They made a person. All right. Now, the other thing is, so you don't need a straw man. They invented the straw man when they all the laws that you're talking about and the treaties that you're talking about. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. All the treaties and all the, uh, 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 the foundation that you're talking about, the private and the public, when they invented all those laws and everything that you're saying, I understand the laws, they invented this, right? So when they invented this, this was their straw man. This is their straw man. So let's get a hold of that and understand that and let's learn this. Don't hate the game, don't hate the player. Become a player and, and learn the game. All right, so we control everything and own nothing. All right, next slide. So in first step one, we need to be able to fix our credit so we can be a good PG. What's a PG? I want everybody to be patient and don't say, I know what a credit report is. I know what transient experience and Equifax is. Those are bureaus that they report stuff to when you, when you borrow money or you get a credit card or whatever. They report that. Everybody doesn't know that. At one time, you didn't know it. So let's be very respectful to the people and not say, oh, he's teaching baby stuff, you know, because some people don't know this, and nobody's left behind here. This is for everybody to teach their children. Nobody's left behind. All right, so let's be respectful, and let's say, you know what? Uh, don't assume that everybody knows everything that you know, and be patient, all right? So we need to be a good PG. What's a good PG? A good PG is a personal guarantor. Thank you, William. Another person or another person guarantee. Uh, let me ask that question later because I didn't get to all of it. Uh, thank you very much. Appreciate I appreciate you too. Who is that? That is Lucky Bono. Oh, that's a bad name. Lucky Bono. <laughs> PG is a personal guarantor. That's right. So those of you that are out there, uh, uh, Robert is on here. He knows this stuff back and forth. Uh, so thank you, Robert, for uh, backing me up out there because uh, I can't see everything and everybody on all these channels. So thank you, Robert. Okay, so personal guarantor. What is a personal guarantor? So the bank is going to say, uh, who's going to borrow the money? You say, Willie is, corporation is. Willie's going to borrow it. They say, okay, uh, is Willie going to give us any documentation, right, so we can feel safe? No, Willie doesn't have Willie's not going to give you any. Don't say, well, we don't have any. We're not going to give you any. Uh, we're not going to offer. Uh, we're going to go state and income, and we're going to go no documentation. Now, people say, that ain't right. I had a person on there arguing with me. That ain't right until I start pulling people out of the woodwork saying, yeah, I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. We had a guy on the boat on the uh, yacht out there, and we recorded him out there. He said, I want to let anybody know I just got 150000 last week. So. You know, applause for that brother. We had another brother came on there. He said, I just got 
$450,000. Go to that service, right? That's what we do. So we want to help you to do the same thing. Go and get that money, all right? All right, so they say, who is really going to give us uh, any documentation? No, we're going to go to stated income. It's going to say, well, okay, who's going to pay us back? We're really going to pay you back. They say, who's going to... Uh, Who's going to make sure it really pays us back because you're not giving us any documentation? You're going to say, I am going to personally guarantee. <laughs> Kendrick P. Yes, sir. And uh, oh, we're killing that now, brother. We're killing that. But that 450000 I want you to understand, thank you, brother, that that's just baby money. All right? There's a level to this. And they don't teach you on the internet the next level. All right? So we want to understand. We first want to go in and get that baby money. I don't want to call it baby money. Seed money. After we get the seed money, then we're going to go private equity. And we're going to pull out this corporate book, which nobody orders the book. So I want you to get familiar with this. So this is going to be the rise. This is going to be your legacy for your children. Look at it shining. Look at it shining. Look at it. Right? And now this is going to be your legacy. Right? And so that what's going to happen is you're going to get this book. After you get your seed money, you're going to open up the book, and you're going to go in the back of the book, and you're going to see something called stock. These are stock papers in the back. Boom. Right? And in the back, the stock paper is going to look like this. That's a stock paper. Boom. There it is. Stock paper. Right? I didn't say shares. I said stock paper. So a buddy of mine uh, said to me um, a while ago, Kyle Freeman, he's on, he's with us. Uh, he helped fix up his public on, in, uh, in our department. He says a long time ago, he says, Derek, that's like a license to print money. I was like, wow, you were, that's a nice term, right? So you take this and you get a pitch deck and you get a private placement memorandum and you give this to a transfer agent and then you go in get money from investors. With a 504, you can go raise up to $5 million. With a 506, you can raise unlimited money. So why are you running around looking for Section 8? Government cheese. All this, when you got money, this book costs $120. About $120, $125. But you got these things in it that's invaluable. Who's going to teach you that on the internet? Nobody. <laughs> okay. I am. So I want to make sure that you understand there's levels to this thing. There's levels to this thing. And uh, again, hats off to those cats that are, that are on the internet doing their thing. I love these young cats, man. They out here doing it. They out here doing their thing. Uh, they out here saying, look, I've learned some information. I'm going to share it with you, right? That's the ball. Now, but I just want to come in, old guy, and tell you, okay, there's levels to this thing, all right? So once you learn that stuff, then you come in and say, guess what? I can go to the next level. I can go in and get $5 million, $10 million, $50 million. Sure. Okay. Now, what's the level after that? There's levels after that. There's another level called taking your company public. All you need is 35 investors. Did you know that? 35 people are investing you at about $3,000 and you can become a publicly traded company. Like Google. Like Google. Like, uh, like uh, have you ever heard of a reverse merger? That means not a shelf court, but a shelf. I told you I was going to divert a little bit today. All right. So I want you to understand there's levels to this thing. So it's time for us to start getting it popping. It's time for me to start taking you a little bit higher. Like Sly Punk, Sly the Family Stone. He said, I want to take you higher. <laughs> take you higher. You probably too young for that stuff, right? <laughs> baby, baby. So, um. Yeah, man, that was a bad song. Yeah, boom, shaka, maka, maka, boom, shaka, maka, maka. This guy's crazy. How the hell are you going to teach me something? <laughs> All right, so this is the, the, this is the stock. 
This is a license that damn near to print money. And then you turn it over and you say, guess what? This is what it is. And you write your private placement memorandum, they sign the back, and you say, you know what? You give me your money, I make money, you make money. If I lose money, you lose money. Just like Google and everybody around the world can give you money. Now, how many people on this planet? Seven, eight million, no, billion people? Now imagine if you got a, if you got five dollars or a dollar from people around the world just give you a dollar to for your company to grow so that they can invest with this thing right here. Right here. That means everybody around it. Why do you think Google is so powerful? Amazon. They're publicly traded. So we need to start thinking about see some of these high-end things. Now we're just starting to think about, oh, you know what? We could go in and get, you know, 100,000, 200,000, 500,000 from the bank. And we're exploding. We're filling up, we're filling up stadiums trying to learn this information. Well, guess what? I want to take you higher. <laughs> All right. You get it. <laughs> right? So why are you looking for uh, uh, government cheese in Section 8? Well, you got this right here. The rich folks, they going out here saying, you know what? I can always get a hold of some money. That's my last of my problems, getting a hold of some money, because the money's free. So you go in, I want you to write down pitch deck. In order to get yourself a uh, 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 money from anybody, the government cheese. Right, go out and get some real cheddar, right? <laughs> right, Cardell Haywood, right? Thank you, brother. <laughs> so, uh, you can go in and use this thing. Now, let's explain this thing. I want you to take notes on this, right? Because nobody is going to teach you this for free. Nobody, right? And that is a shame, all right? So, uh, what we want to do is we want to go in. Want to get that seed money? Then after you get that seed money, don't be satisfied because you're a businessman and a businesswoman and the object of a corporation, the law, the rule of a corporation is to what? The rule of a corporation is to go in and make sure that you turn a profit. So you are forced to get rich when you have a corporation. That's the rule of a corporation. So after you get your money, guess what? Somebody said, I'm a capitalist. Somebody said, I'm a, who's that, John Green? Somebody says, I'm a capitalist. All right. Uh, okay, uh, look, I want, you, I want to show you something real quick. I want to, I want to break this. Uh, uh, let me see if I can share my screen. I want to do a screen share. I want to show you something. All right. Somebody said here, I'm a capitalist. And what I want to say is, is that, is that we are uh, we are businessmen and businesswomen. Don't go out any longer talking about I'm a uh, 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 what do you do? Oh, I do nails. Oh, what do you do? I drive a truck. Oh, what do you do? Oh, oh, I, I, I'm a restaurant owner, a restaurant worker. No, that's over. We are businessmen and businesswomen. From now on, when you leave here, I want you to. Put, from now on, what do you do? You're going to say, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a capitalist, right? That means we are in a capitalistic society. We will capitalize on anything that can bring us capital. If you notice, the president lives on capital. They say he's a, he's a capital hill, right? You ever thought about that? All the congressmen, everybody says that he, he's in the capital. So from now on, I want you to take the red pill, not the blue pill, and say, take the red pill and say, you know what? When somebody says, what do you do? You say, oh, uh, I thought you did hair. Oh, no, I'm a businesswoman. I'm a capitalist. Okay? I'm a capitalist, and I will capitalize on anything that makes sense and is legal. And is legal, right? You got something I can capitalize on? I just happen to do it. Do hair. That's one of the things in my DBA who invented ads that I do. But I'm a capitalist. 
right? Now, I want, I want to show you something. I've been saying that to everybody for the longest, right? Now, that brother up there put up there says, capitalist, right? I want you to watch something. I want you to look at something. I didn't really intend to show you, but I, I had to. Uh, I want you to watch something. Those of you that are out there, you're probably not going to be able to see this. Uh, but I want you to take a look at this. Can everybody see this? If you can see my screen, I want you to say yes. Millen, can you see my screen? I don't know if I get this. Excellent. Let me see. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Watch this. Watch this. I've been telling you that for the longest. I said, you are a capitalist. That's the president of the United States who just gave the speech, the State of the Union speech. Let me run this one more, one more so we can get it. Take the red pill, all right? Let's run this again. What did he say? Okay. Everybody. Let's see. Everybody that just saw that, I want you to put up a nine. Put up a nine. Everybody just saw that. The president of the United States, I've been telling you that for the years, for the longest. I'm a, you're a capitalist. You don't do hair. You don't do nails. He didn't say, I'm the president of the United States. No. There you go. Everybody that saw this put up a nine. Everybody that heard it put up a nine. You can't say now, that's what Mr. Derrick said. The president said it. He said it. <laughs> I was looking at it and I was saying, what the hell? Did he just say that on TV? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So you out there, what I'm trying to get to you is that, look, I'm a capitalist. If you want to make millions and millions of dollars, it's okay. <laughs> Somebody said Putin said Jesus is black. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> my son there, that's why all government businesses mail mentions your name in capital letters. Woo wee, who said that? Samuel. Absolutely. Nancy Pelosi banking on them stock trades. Look, I'm a capitalist. If you want to make millions and millions of dollars, it's okay. That's all I got to say about that. So now you can't run around and say, uh, he don't know what he's talking about. Mr. Derrick said, oh, no. Now you believe your president? So I want everybody to understand out there that you are a capitalist. No longer are you a, and I've been saying this way before he said that. So everybody out there, ready? Let's take the red pill. Ready? Out. Wild up. Oh, oh, I'm on the Matrix. Oh, oh, I'm on the Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, Morpheus, Morpheus. <laughs> All right. I'm on the oh, Morpheus. <laughs> All right. So I 
want the red. <laughs> I want everybody now to zone in. We are capitalists, and that's where we're going with this. All right, so let's get it popping. Let's get back to it. I love it. It tastes great. I love how he said, Robert. <laughs> Robert, it tastes great. <laughs> All right. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys that to show you. And that guy there is rich. <laughs> All right. The leader of the free world. He said, I'm a capitalist. <laughs> All right. So I hope you get my point. <laughs> All right, so uh, we want to go in. There's levels to this thing. So we can go in, get that seed money. Then we go get the book. After we get that one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars a million in the bank, we go to the next level. We go to private equity. And after we get private equity, then we go, we can take that bad boy public, and you will be the baddest capitalist. You can command billion dollars. And don't be afraid of the, of the, of the dollar. Don't be afraid of the big number. It's just a number. Something that something that Herman says. He says, okay, there's a zero. And he says, what's the difference in a zero? Right? And a lot of money. I'm paraphrasing. He said, it's just more zeros. You put a one in front of a zero, you got 10. Right? You put a bunch of zeros behind it, you got a million dollars. It's just zeros in a computer. I love Herman for saying that. Very, very, very wise, wise statement right there. All right, so now you need to be a good PG. That's the bank says, who is going to pay us back? You say, Willie is. They say, okay, since Willie is not going to give us uh, uh, anything, right? We need to know who is going to make sure, who's going to make sure that we get paid back. Say, I am, because I'm a good PG. So let's get into how you become a good PG. Personal guarantor. You need to fix your credit. So I ask people, how's your credit? They say, my credit is, uh, I got a 720. I got a 730. I got I got 800. I got a 620. I got 550. <laughs> right? That's okay. You can fix all that. So what I want you to know is that you need to have a good FICO. A good FICO is going to take you a long way. So what is a good FICO? I said, I got a 610. I got 610. <laughs> okay. Uh, it says, the brother, I don't know if it's the brother or sister, owner to everyone. That's a good name. So, so we want to make sure what's a good FICO. A good FICO is when you want to fund a corporation. The corporation, you're going to you need to be a good PG. And a good FICO is going to be whatever is on your driver's license. That's what, that, that's what needs to be on your credit report. So you're going to have uh so you're gonna have <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you leslie hayden thank you so much i want you to succeed so the pg personal guarantor your driver's license whatever's on your driver's license is whatever uh if you have your name on there and it says john harris if it is john j harris or harris j those are aliases and those will bring you down in points, right? So then you'll finally have no points to go down. So you will say, oh, bye, no money. So you want to stay up there. You only have approximately 50 points. 50 points, all right? So now uh, we want to make sure that we stay up there. So whatever name is up there, no aliases. Get rid of those other names, right? Next thing is you want to make sure that... Uh, you want to make sure that when you go in and they look at your address, make sure your address is one address that you're living at, one address, not many others, because it makes you look unstable. And now you will go back down in points more, right? Just those few little things will bring you down, 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 right? And uh, it may not diminish your score. See, the thing that people don't realize is these things I'm talking about don't diminish your score, but they diminish your rating internally it diminish your rating internally so you could have a 750 but you could have an 800 credit score but if you got a bunch of addresses right and you got a bunch of uh different uh aliases names you may have a, you may have 780 but guess what 
you wonder why this other person got a hundred thousand and you got fifty because you have too many things that are diminishing your your uh your rating okay your risk factor so we want to make sure we understand that we are talking about risk factor not only credit and score so one name one address no more than three inquiries no more than three inquiries more than three inquiries you're not getting any money right you want to make sure that we don't have uh no less than five trade lines What's a trade line? A trade line is when you somebody gives you money or gives you credit or or something like that, lends you something. And it's a trade line. They trade you their money or their credit or whatever, uh, and you're going to make payments, right? And they put that on your credit report. That's a trade line. So no less than five trade lines that that's considered then file. All right. We want to make sure we don't have uh, negatives or derogatories or any of that stuff. Clean up your information, right? Uh, we want to make sure also that you have um, uh, that you have no less than a ten thousand uh, uh, dollar uh, trade line. You know, like if you got a credit card or whatever, ten thousand dollars because banks tend to lend based on what another bank is giving you, and there's ways of getting that, right? So we want to make sure that we don't have less than that. We don't want to we want to make sure that we don't go in and get uh have less than a a, a two years in age because the banks want to see that you've been around for a minute so two years with your credit card in age or for 10 years in limit all right you want to make sure that you go in and and and, and stop putting up there i worked at mcdonald's stop putting up there where you worked because the bank can go in and look at a look at a a gauge and say if he's in this type of business then, it's, then he commands this type of money. And you don't want to say that I'm, lit, I'm in a certain amount of money category. That's nobody's business. So stop putting on there where you work. If you see where you work, get it out of there. Call them up and say, hello, Equifax, Experience, Transunion, or whatever. I want to correct my address and correct my age. Uh, and, and I mean, not my age, but my uh, address and my, um, and, uh, you know where I worked. I want that removed. And my phone number. Remove your phone number, right? Because they connect a lot of these things to whatever you have gotten that are bad. And they say, oh, same phone number over here is the phone number they have. That's you. So it stays on. So a lot of these things can be removed. And a lot of things these, these things can be taken care of. Okay. So uh, you make a phone call and you call in. And there's lots of ways of doing that. You want to make sure that you, uh, and again, when you see people talking about AUs, I saw somebody talking about AUs, or don't believe the hype on the internet. They do not care about authorized users when you're funding a willing a corporation because they want to see your credit as a personal guarantor. They don't want to see no AUs, authorized users, because so that's somebody else's credit that you use, right? We want to make sure we're doing things that take the red pill, right? Don't believe everything you hear on the, on the internet. Now, you may get away with some AU when you're funding yourself personally, but not when you're funding a willy. So we want to make sure we're funding a willy. All right? So next slide. So the next thing is banks don't deal with rookies. So if you're going to go out and, and fund a willy, don't go in and think, yourself, think that you're going to fund a willy because you got a uh a corporation because you have a corporation that is uh because you have a corporation sorry we had an outage a lot <laughs> outage for me i'm like what the hell uh oh they're coming for me <laughs> so we want to make sure that we have um uh age for your corporation right so if you get your corporation and you go in and get a brand new corporation you're not getting any money Right. Hey, it coming for me. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. It was, <laughs> it was good. Well, I tried. <laughs> All right. So we want to make sure that the corporation uh, uh, is no no younger than than two and a half tax years. Two and a half tax years. So what is two and a half tax years? January to April is a tax year. Right. Not January to December. January to April. So how much is that? One year and four months. And one year in four months is two years 
eight months. So you might as well round it off for three years. So don't walk in the bank thinking you're going to get money off a corporation if you're not, if you're less than three years old. Because banks don't lend their money to rookies. They ain't going to let you experiment on their money. Now, I want to let you know also, don't go over a corporation that has done nothing over nine, eight or nine years. Why? Because now the bank says, well, wait a minute, this corporation's old, right? It's like, it's like 70 years old, dog age is a corporation, right? So if you're, uh, or, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 18 years old, they're going to say, why don't you have a car? Why don't you have credit cards? Why don't you have this and that? Why don't you have 45 or 16? Those are taxes, 45 or 16. Why don't you have any of that stuff? No, you're either a poor business person or something ain't right, and we ain't letting you know our money. So that is the rule. So the same way you can buy a new corporation, you can buy an old one and not have to wait around three years. Okay? So you can get something that's called a season age shelf corporation. Season age means it's, it's season and age means old. Right? And, and, and shelf court means some lawyer or somebody has put it on the shelf and now they will sell it to you because they know what it's worth. See, they don't teach us this stuff. So is that legal, Mr. White? Well, of course it is. Can't you buy an a old a restaurant? Can't you buy an old shoe company? People buy and sell businesses all the time. So you can buy a corporation from people that have bought them years ago, put them on the shelf, and now they sell it to you when it comes right. Nice and right. Now, people, guess what? A lot of people go in and they say, uh, 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 I'm going to buy me three or four of these bad boys, and I'm going to get me three, four PGs, and I'm going to get $500,000. That's one with four PGs, four corps, 100, 200. That's $2 million. So why are you sitting around looking for money? Go in and fix four people in your family, credit, and have it nice and decent, and that's easy to do, right? And then go in and get a corporation for each one. Y'all come together, get four, five, one, five hundred thousand dollars, whatever. And now that's one person, two person, three person, four person, five, 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 five. That's two million dollars. You can't do something with two million dollars. So why are we looking around for money? Work together, even if it's one person. And you get five hundred thousand dollars. Then after you keep upgrading and get more credit, pretty soon you have a million dollars in the corporation. You can't do something with a million dollars. But guess what? People don't realize I can't. The rule, the rule. You cannot get money from a baby corporation because they don't give you any money. But they give you baby money. So you want to go in and get a season eight shelf corporation. Now guess what? A lot of people say. You know, where do I get that from? Well, there's a place online. You don't need us. We don't need us. There's a place online that's called Wholesale Shelf Corporation. And these people sell corporations like they're water. So some people know what they can do. Now, they, for a five-year-old corporation, I saw in there one time, for a five-year-old corporation, it was like $14,000. We sell them, but I wouldn't dare sell a corp for $14,000. <laughs> you know, I think that's exuberant. But um, you don't need us, and they sell them like water. Why wouldn't a person buy a $14,000 corporation, Willie, when you can say, hey, I can get $50,000 for fourteen grand, a hundred, two, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000, $500,000 from the bank? I would borrow $14,000 to go, hey, man, let me hold fourteen dollars When I fund this corporation, I'm going to give you back eighteen. dollars I don't care. I'm about to get $50,000, $100,000, $200,000, $300,000. That's why they buy it. Okay, so I want you to understand that this thing has levels, and and uh, and you can go in and get yourself a season age shelf corporation. Uh, as I said, there's a season age shelf corp. But the one thing that a lot of people don't do is they give you the corporation, and then they walk away and say, "Thank you, bye. Here's your corp next." Right? Well, we don't do that. We go in. We if you do that, get a corporation from us. We, we go in and we teach you how to build it because you have to know how to build it. You have to have an age uh, domain. You got an age court. Why are you going to have a brand new website? That don't make sense. You got to have an age domain. That don't make sense. The bank can look in to who is and see all of it. 
and they can see all of this. So you want to make sure. What's the name of it? Who is the bank you're going to see? If you don't have 40 hits on your corporation, the bank is not going to give you any money or baby money. Because they say, nobody's looking at your corporation's website. How are you getting any money? Right? So go in and hit your corporation 50, 60 times. Go in, go out. Go in, go out. But now you meet that criteria. We got to appease the underwriter, not ourselves. They say walk in with red pants, red shoes, red socks. Don't walk in with red pants, red socks, uh, green shoes, green pants, green socks. You're not getting the money. Okay, so we go in, we say, this is what we need to do. And from our perspective, right, this is what you need to do. We consult you. We help you along the way. But you don't need us because I'm giving you all the info that you need to go in and get this done. All right. So guess what? The corporation also has to have the proper an address. You can't walk in and do business out your house. If you're doing business out your house, Guess what that says? That says, the corporation says, oh, that's uh, that's you, uh, your cousin, because the corporation is a person. They say, yeah, that, that corporation is living on your couch. That's your cousin living on your couch. You cannot do business with a phone number that's not a business line. And I don't mean, I mean a landline. I don't mean voice over IP, Google number, and all that stuff. No, because they can tell. They can tell. They want a landline. So get a landline and look big and get an 800 number. Now, another thing I want to say to you, a lot of people get a corporate address, but you cannot get an address that's like a virtual office. It has to be an office that they can look at it on Google Maps. I know. I am banker. So they will look at it on Google Maps and say, wait a minute, it's a mailbox, et cetera. It's a PO, it's a PO box. No. They want to see a building. That you know, and so you can get those. You can get those. So there's a lot of things that we need to understand when we build this corporation so we can walk in point A to point B and walk home with the money. Then go to the liquor store and get a glass of wine or beer. <laughs> All right. So uh we want to make sure that we go in and uh and uh make sure our corporation is structured the proper way. So we want to go in, we want to get our Dun & Bradstreet number. We want to make sure we got our Dun & Bradstreet number, right? We want to make sure that we go in and that is free. Don't let nobody charge you for a free number unless they're doing other things for you. Then, of course, they're going to charge you for the number. But then there's listing. You have to list your corporation, right? You got to list your corporation with, uh, you know, Manta. Has anybody heard of Manta? I want to make sure you list your corporation with Manta. I told you I'm going to start telling you some things that are a little bit different today. All right. I'm not going to follow the script today. I'm going to go in and, and tell you how to structure your corporation and then look at this other level. So I want you to make sure you register for Manta. I want you to make sure that you go in and when you get your, when you get your address, I want to be very serious and let you know when you get your address, you need to get the highest zip code that you can find because Manta is a reporting, is a like the yellow pages, but for businesses, Manta. Got it? See a lot of people not going, who going to tell you this stuff on the internet for free? Nobody. All right. So I want you to register yourself with uh, business listings, uh, uh, all the business listings, right? As many as you can find, just keep listing yourself. Right? Especially Manta. Now, uh, I want you to make sure that you, uh, uh, have those 40 hits. But when you go and get your address, remember, the bank is going to say, uh, they're going to look at your address and they're going to look up a code to see how risky that area is. So if you got your address in the hood, you ain't getting no money because they don't lend money to high risk areas. So if you got your address in Beverly Hills, guess what? The rich get richer. <laughs> right? So if you got your address in the highest, so make sure that when you go looking for your address and you say, I'm going to get me a place, 
Make sure that you get your corporate, uh, uh, your address in the highest zip code that you can get. Okay, because that helps you with your money. All right, so we want to make sure, uh, uh, so we want to make sure that uh, you understand a lot of these uh, things to build your corporation right so you can be prepared to get maximum funding. All right, next thing is a corporation is not to do business. A corporation is to get money. You get money to do business. You don't do business to get money. You get you, you don't you go and get some money. If you walk into my dealership and try to buy, you know, a, a, a Bentley, talk about, yeah, I got this corporation to do business. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna pay for it. I'm gonna look at you and say, man, you don't get that out of my face. Where's the money? You can't buy a, a, a house or whatever. Or, or buy products with a corporation. <laughs> Take the red pill. We get money with this thing. We get money. After we get the money, then we do business. We do not work our behind off with a corporation and working and working and working trying to get money. That's backwards. That's what this is for. Okay. All right, so the next thing we need to understand is structure your company in the right way. And the proper structure for the corporation is the seven structure in our opinion. So the seven structure goes like this. You have the, the C Corp, then you have the DBAs underneath it. So if you already have an LLC, then you're going to take your, DB, your, your LLC and you're not going to throw it away and do not change the name or, or change the, the uh, try to change it in another, uh, like the C Corp. Because guess what? That C Corp, it will now lose its age. So you take it and you put it underneath the DBA. So all you're doing is going to the Secretary of State and saying, I want to put my C, my uh, LLC as a DBA. And it will, they will put it, show you how to put it underneath the corporation. And you can have as many DBAs as you want, like Starbucks or Walmart. A lot of them, right? Chain. A lot of them, a lot of them are DBAs. So, C corporation, that's the mama of corporation, right? Then you got your DBAs underneath it, right? Then you go out and you have a holding corp. You got to protect your money. Who's teaching you how to protect your money? You got to keep your money protected. You're not going to go in and get a house or uh, and not have windows put on or doors or no locks, right? <laughs> so you got to protect your money. So C corp, holding corp. That says. So the C-Corp, everything we own belongs to you. Holding Corp. That's why you have Bank of America Holdings, Walmart Holdings. See, they're not telling us this, right? So we got to go in and have it hold. Everything we own belongs to you. And you write a letter, right? And what is that letter called? Anybody remember what that letter is called? When you do something with the corporation, what is the name of the letter? Can you do anything? Can somebody put that up there? There you go. There you go. Can somebody put up there what kind of letter? Robert. Resolution. Corporate resolution letter. Corporate resolution letter. Is everybody out there in uh on TikTok? Can somebody put up? Corporate resolution letter. Corporate res. This come on. This is this is audience participation. I gotta know that you're getting this stuff. I do this every week. I gotta know that you get this stuff. And I'm gonna keep trying to get more and more info, but I gotta know you get this stuff. There you go. Corporate resolution letter. There you go. That makes me happy. Oh yeah. Teach the baby. What's a corporate resolution letter? Oh, that's a letter that says that we're going to do something with the corporation. <laughs> right? There you go. Corporate resolution letter. Excellent. Excellent. A lot of people got it. There you go. So why do I say that? Anything you do with a corporation, every time you do something with a corporation, you have to ask it. This thing is a person. They made this a person. So. That's why they call it corpse. It's Latin for body. It's a dead thing. You bring it to life. You taste, touch, smell, and hear, and feel for it. It cannot do that on its own. So 
You need to ask it, can I get a bank account? So you write a letter that says the corporate name, the time of the meeting, and the ID number of the corporation, and we are here, right? You say corporate resolution. And you say we are here in the best interest of the corporation to open a bank account. We have voted, and now we have agreed two out of three, three out of three, whatever, uh, majority rule that we shall now open, proceed and open a bank account. Or we shall now proceed and, and purchase a car or a truck or a credit card. If you are not doing that, you are illegally handling the corporation's stuff. You need to understand this information. Okay, this is not play play time. This is real time reality. We're talking about our kids' future. This is not play play time, right? If you're looking for uh, motivation, that's Tony Robbins. You're in the wrong place. Click off now. All right, so uh, we want to make sure that we do a corporate resolution, right? And uh, once you do that, anything you do, and write a template that has we are in the best interest of the corporation to get a and have that blank in word so that you can just fill it in so you don't have to keep making them over and over again right and then the time the meeting started the time the meeting ended over the right hand corner and then you put that and notarize it and you put that in your book of minutes and now if anybody ever comes to you and says who told you you could open corp uh, a bank account i have my resolution right here sir Oh, so you speak Latin, huh? That's right. I'm a part of the, I'm a part of the club. <laughs> they know right away certain things you do. He don't speak Latin. He didn't take the red pill. <laughs> All right. So now let's go into proper structure. So C Corporation, done, uh, DBAs underneath it, down the back, back up, and then out. Holding Corp, everything we own belongs to you. And now the holding corp is going to say, now, now that's a corporate bail. You got to protect your money. It's harder to keep it, easier to get it than it is to keep it. Mike Tyson, $400 million lost it because nobody told him how to keep it. Now, thank God he got a beautiful wife, Mark, and uh, with, his, uh, with his ambition and hers, they rising back up to the top. So he's learning how to maneuver now, maturity. So nobody taught him. All right, so now Thomas C. Tucker talk about that upside down C. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get there. So now C Corp, DBA, go back up, out, holding court, corporate bail, they call it. Now, if those somebody come after you for that big money, big lawyers, then you're gonna put you're gonna have that uh, holding court into a truck outside or inside the United States. That's solid. Unless you're doing something illegal, then it might not be that solid, right? <laughs> but if it's outside, outside, outside the jurisdiction of the United States, then guess what? It's, it's pretty damn solid, right? Okay, so that is the seven structure, all right? There's loot, there's, there's rules to this thing and laws to this thing. We got to learn these things. Next thing is, is now that we have the seven structure, there's upside down T. What is the upside down T? The upside down T is when you put the money back into the corporation, it grows out. And now, because you put the money back in, it grows up. More money. And now you get more money, it grows back and you go out. It grows up and out and up and out. Put the money back in so you can help you with a lot of capital gains tax. So people are always worried about, hey, you know, corporations, double taxation. What do you care? You're making a bunch of money. That's what you got a CPA for. Let him handle that. Stay in your lane. Grow the money. Get the money. Make the money. And then have your CPA. Uh, and then put the money back in the court. And the, the corporation buys the car. Not you. You just drive it. The corporation buys the Cartier watches. Not you. You just drive it. The, Cartier, uh, the corporation gets the custom suit. Tailor your suit. Tailor your tie. Right? Tailor your shirts. Right? The corporation bought it. This ain't my watch. This ain't even my chair I'm sitting in. <laughs> okay, 
So control everything and own nothing. Got it? Control everything and own nothing. All right, so that's the upside down T and the seven. So you put it back in the corp, it grows taller, more money. And then if you got to deal with taxes, let the CPA deal with the rest. Now, when you want to go in and get a good CPA, what are you going to ask the CPA? Anybody remember? Did you say call the Secretary of State? Uh, no, we call the Secretary of State. Why do we call the Secretary of State? Can you get me out of trouble? There you go. Candace, thank you, Candace. When you pick out a good CPA, you want to say, have you, do, do you get people out of trouble? And if they say, no, nah, no, nah, that ain't what we do, you know, that means they're looking for an easy ride. But if you got a CPA that says, that's what we do, proudly, that's what we do. We get people out of trouble and keep them out of trouble. That's the person say, okay, you're the person for me because you don't want to be in trouble. Right, and they put in the extra, extra work because they're proud of being at that powerful where we can keep people out of trouble and get them out of trouble. Right, so that's the one that you want. That's how you pick a good CPA. All right, next, next uh, slide. I know people are saying, Well, hey, he's deviating from the, the way you be telling the slide, right? Well, because I want to put other things in there. That, that round it off that you've not heard before so that you can uh, get a full understanding. All right, so now step three, getting the money. Use your shelf corp and, you, and, you, and learn and use your shelf corp and go in and get uh, real estate, grow yourself to trucking, get Airbnb, whatever you're trying to get. But in order to do that, we're going to have to learn the five bureaus. Now let's go to the five bureaus. You got your pens out, pen and paper. Ready? Five bureaus, Equifax, business, Experian business, small business financial exchange, Dunn and Bradstreet, and Paynet. Let's go over this again. Experian, Equifax, business, small business financial exchange, Dunn and Bradstreet, and Paynet. Now, why do I say this? Because you need to be the CEO of your company. We are businessmen and capitalists. You heard the president say, hey, look, I'm a capitalist. I just played that for you. <laughs> Those of you that missed that, yeah, he just said that. And I've been teaching that for the longest, right? So now, uh, you want to make sure, you want to make sure that, uh, that if you want, let, let's say, let's say if you want to get cars, uh, trucks, if you, let's say you want to get heavy equipment, maybe you want to get phones, maybe you want to get computers, maybe you want to get, uh, uh, speakers, uh, 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 equipment. It, you know, they call those equipment loans. So if you want to get an equipment loan, like you want to do Toro, you're going to need cars. Maybe you're going to track the trailer. Maybe you want to do, uh, 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 copy machines or, or, uh, furniture for your business. That's called an equipment loan. So you need to build up your pay net because that's who they're going to check when you're going to get equipment loans, phones and all that kind of stuff. Equipment. Right. So you need to understand that just because you have a corporation, it's not just money that you miss, that you're looking for. You need to be the you need to be the, the CEO. Now, what's the CEO? Chief executive officer, just like the president of the United States. He is the chief executive officer slash president. President, CEO is the same thing. Got it. President, and CEO is the same thing. So now. We want to make sure that we understand the president and CEO the same thing. You should have three people on your corporation, not one. One people can be all, all three, but if you look stupid to the bank trying to get some money saying, I'm one person handling the president, the vice president, and the secretary, and everything else on the corporation. You look like a chicken running around with your head off. The, the bank is saying, he don't speak Latin. There ain't no damn way he's going to do everything. It takes away from you growing the company. So you should have at least three people on your court. Now, I want you to make sure you understand that. You need a president, vice president, secretary. So the president is, is the person that handles the stuff, you know, makes the, uh, brings up the decision, tries to grow the company. He's the CEO, chief executive officer. 
the vice president takes care of this of everything when the president is not there. And the secretary, oh, that's important. Like you have the Secretary of State, the Secretary of Commerce, the Secretary of War, United States Corporation, you have the Secretary of uh your corporation, they know where the bodies are, they know where everything is, right? So be nice to the secretary. <laughs> All right. So a uh, very important position. But uh, don't get stuck on position. Get, get stuck on getting money for the corporation so that you can make the corporate as big as possible. So Oprah doesn't have $4 billion under her mattress. That's what the corporation is worth. Got it? All right. So now, uh, uh, the five bureaus. We want to make we want to make sure that we understand if you want equipment, cars, trucks, uh, Turo, whatever, uh, 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 phones, computers, furniture. That's an equipment loan. That's Paynet. They're going to check Paynet. Maybe you don't need money. Maybe you're trying to start a Turo business or trucking or heavy dump trucks, whatever. They're going to check Paynet. So when you build up your Paynet, then you then you'll go in and go get your car from uh, uh, Ally. Hint, hint, right? So go get your car from Ally. Now, next thing is Dun & Bradstreet. Dun & Bradstreet is, say, for instance, you need uh, credit cards for your corporation, but store cards, not regular cards, but like uh, Home Depot. Maybe you're a builder. You want to get your nails and wood from Home Depot on credit. And after I fix the house and sell it, I'll pay you later. Those are called net, 30, 60, 90 day net. They even have 15 day net. They don't say that. Okay. So you want to make sure every, it's not always about the money. It's about what your company needs. And you being a CEO to know, I know how to go get what my company needs. Okay. So those are, uh, 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 38, 60 day, 90 day net. Those are like Costco, uh, store cards. You can't get money, but you can use the store card. Home, a restaurant depot, maybe a restaurant. Want to get that stuff and then pay them later. Done in Bradstreet. If you have a small business financial exchange, that is that is banks talking to banks. Banks talking to banks. So that's usually like you get a line of credit, hundred thousand, two, three, whatever. You pay it down, rate and term, you're done. Once you pay it down, it's over. Rate and term. Got it. The next thing is you want to go in and say uh and uh. You want to go in and get that money, so you want to go in and get uh, uh, Equifax or Experian. That's like a revolving line. That's the best. So a revolving line is a hundred thousand, whatever, whatever, and you pay it down. You can use it over, pay it and use it over. Revolving credit cards or revolving line of credit, revolving credit cards. Use it down over and over. You should have you should have a carpal tunnel swiping them damn cards. Right, they, Mr. White, they don't give us money. They don't give us money. Uh, really, I say, oh, really? Well, they get, they give me money. They give me money all day long. They don't even know. They, they, why don't they give you money? Because you're not structuring it right. They not. You're right. Each one of these corporate cards is between fifty and eighty thousand dollars. Some of them unlimited. They give me money. They give me money. Why won't they give you money? Because you're not structuring it right. And nobody's teaching you how to structure the corporation properly. And I can pull out stacks for these. All right? So the same way I get them, the same way you can get them. Proof is proof. All right? So now, imagine you go in and you get yourself three of these. If this is 50, this is 50, and this is 50. Right? Three cards. Imagine if you went in and you said, okay, these are corporate cards. Not me buying the car. The corporation's going to buy the car. So the corporation goes in and says, I want that Mercedes. I want that S550. Or that's 600. Oh, that's going to be, uh, uh, 150,000 with the package, sir. You say, okay, how are you going to pay for this? So I'm going to go and swipe these cards, take the money off of them. Not your own merchant account, but it will shut your cards down. Another merchant account. Swipe these cards, choop, 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 choop. And now you're going to take the money, go get a cashier's check, 
And now you're going to take that and pay for the car at the dealership straight out. Now, guess what? Now you own the car. The corporation really owns the car. They're going to send Willie the, 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 the title to the car. So if anything ever happens, they say, Willie messed up. He didn't pay on the car. Bye, Willie. But you still own the car because the car's been paid for. No repo man. Guess what? You want to go buy a house. You want a three hundred, four hundred, five thousand dollar house, right? One, two. Three, four, four hundred. You want five hundred? Five hundred. Five hundred thousand dollar house. So you go in. You should have carpal tunnel from swiping all these damn cards. <laughs> you should be like, well, why your hand got those things on it? It's because because you've been typing, you off the job, you got carpal tunnel. No, I shit, girl, my hands, I got carpal tunnel from swiping all these damn cards. <laughs> what the hell wrong with that? Ooh, my hand. Ow. <laughs> Baby, you all right? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, let me give you a massage. You've been swiping today. Yeah. <laughs> what you swipe, baby? Okay. I bought us a house. I bought Willie a house. Oh, baby. Oh, so sorry. Oh, let me get you. Baby, that's my baby. That's my little swiper. <laughs> I used to call my wife little swiper. <laughs> she swiped so much damn cars. I say. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I, said, I used to go in there and find stuff under the bed. I, I, I say, what is it? Chanel, no, Chanel bag? Babe! She said, you're swiping your ass. You should have swipe tunnel, right? If you swipe with these cards, and then they say, oh no, they're going to send you. A, a reconveyance letter saying you own the house so you paid for them and now if willie go bad he's willie's credit cards they ain't mine bye willie but you own the house and the car why are we looking around for section eight why are we looking around for government cheese bye willie and then you walk back in. Can you get Wilhelmina some cup, some money? Can you get Wilhelmina some money? Well, does Wilhelmina have that credit? Does Wilhelmina have a, a, a this and that? This and that? Yep. And the bank says, you know what? Y'all about to make me nine times richer. Bring it on. That's the game. That's the game. All right. Now, I am not saying to go out and intentionally swipe cards and buy things and not intend to pay them back. That is ridiculous because if Willie successfully pays him off, then Willie can get more and more and more and more and more money from the bank as a reward for paying him that little bit of money. But things happen. Right? So, some people come on here and they say, I didn't come on here to learn all this. I can't learn all this. I didn't do it. I, I, didn't do it. I just want to get a little bit of money. I didn't come to learn all this. I can't. Learn. Yes, you can. You can learn this. Don't sit there and talk about you can't learn this. You can learn every damn record that come on. Do the record come on. Oh, that's my, my record. You sing in every record. Every, 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 every lyric. You know every lyric, right? So, Make me sweat. Make me holler. You know every, <laughs> you know every damn song. <laughs> you lose my breath. Maybe. <laughs> you know every, every song. So don't say that you can't learn this and teach your children. <laughs> I love that little girl. I'm telling you, everywhere I go, I, I love that little girl. Oh, that TV rocking. <laughs> <laughs> I can't learn this. 
I can't let it. Oh, that's my song. You lose my friends. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Look, we can learn this <laughs> like Obama did. Yes, we can. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, I want to make sure that we understand how to do this thing. We're going to have questions and answers. Uh, I diverted a little bit today because I want to make sure that we start getting uh, other things that are coming in my brain that, so that you can successfully go in and get that and get that funding, right? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. All right, next slide. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have question and answers. Uh before we have question and answers, uh I also want you to understand there's five zeros, but um uh we we understand that that uh I also want you to know that uh, small business financial exchange is how do we go in and we get trade lines, trade lines for corporations. All right. I want you to make sure you can you can build trade lines. If you have trade lines on your corporation, guess what? You get more money, right? So also, I want everybody else to understand that there's such a thing as financials. Corporate financials, right? So the financials, even though we're doing non, uh, uh, no doc and stated income, the financial, uh, you don't have to have from a CPA, you don't have to have, uh, uh, you can do stated financial, stated, and it's, and it's just as good, right? Which helps you get more money. So I want you to look into that stated financial, right? Uh, I want to say everybody that thinks that this is this is decent information. Uh, I want you to put up a five. If you think this is decent information, if you think this is information that you can use, good for you and your children, uh, put up a five. Let's do audience participation, right? Or I could just say, well, okay, thank you for listening. Bye. I'm out here. <laughs> you know, put up a five if you think this is decent information. If this is something that's worthwhile for you and your children. And remember, teach your children. Okay, put up a five. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, that lets me know people are listening. Stacy, Stacy Cohen, thank you. Path Genius, wow, five, five, five. Mr. Harper, Mr. Mr. Harper, five, five, five. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beverly, thank you so much. Thank you, I love you too. I really do. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you. So, we are, thank you so much. We are Alpha Incorporated. I'm Derek White, 360 CEO. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I love you too. We are Alpha Incorporated. Uh, Derek White in here. We are Alpha Incorporated, 360 CEOs. We're not brokers. We're not finders. We're not attorneys. Uh, we are not, uh, funders or any of that. If you're looking for tax people or any of that, please consult those people. We're giving this information as a consultant, and we're giving this information because we believe everyone out there is a friend, and we will continue to give this information because we do believe you're a friend. And so, uh, thank you very much for all your support and all your uh, all your love. Uh, and if you need anybody in those areas, please consult those people. This is from our perspective. We are businessmen and businesswomen, all giving our perspective. So, thank you very much. And we don't do anything illegal. We don't preach anything illegal. We want to do any anything to do illegally. We can do legally. You don't have to do state bank statements. You don't have to do any of that stuff. You can do things by the law, by the rules, and don't hate the game and don't hate the place. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little break right now. We're gonna go in and have my partner come in, Millen. He speaks about five languages, four or five languages. He's out there in uh uh, I don't know where he might be in, he's in Europe somewhere right now. Who knows where Millen is? He's always a, so we do a lot of land purchase out there. He's my partner. Before we start doing this, we got together and said, Derek, I said, man, this is 
they are teaching this stuff all wrong and then that he's a daddy. Why don't you teach them? I said, no, I'm kneeling. I mean, man, he just, so he was recording me saying all the things that were wrong. And then he finally said, uh, Derek, after I hung up, he said, Derek, about two hours later, he said, uh, look at TikTok. I said, what is TikTok? He said, TikTok. I said, I looked at TikTok. I said, man, what is this? Man, this is me. He said, yes, I recorded you. He said, you see how many people? 10,000 people in two hours were interested in this. And so that began us doing this. So thank you, Millen. Uh, Millen does not need the money. Uh, Trump fund baby hate me saying that, but it's the fact. You know, the man's a truck fund, the $500 million. Who has that? You know, the, the truck fund, right? So he doesn't need the money. He's doing this because he loves you. I love you. And everybody involved in this loves you. And we're on a mission to get this back, to get this to you. So he's going to come on here. A lot of people say, Mr. Whitehead, uh, can you help me with this? I, said, I just told you everything you need to do, <laughs> right? You don't need us. Right, but some people still call me, still reach out, Mr. Whitehead, can you help me with this, can you help me with that? So we're gonna come in and tell you a few things that we can help you with, if you buy five, seven minutes or whatever. We're gonna come back for questions and answers, and I want you to ask me the question that you think will Man, I got it. That makes me happy. Give me the question, I'm gonna do my best to try to give you the information, and you don't need us. But if you feel like there's something you want us to help us with, like Shell Corporation or websites or credit, we can guide you to those people. We are consultants. We don't do any of that, but we can guide you to those people. All right. So still come in. Parton is uh, heavy accent. <laughs> he took me out with that. Um, and I'll be right back. I'll give you a drink of water. And uh, I'll be right back. And you give me the question and answer. We're also out there. Anybody out there, you can join us. Uh, that's not on this Zoom, at economicmasonry.com, economicmasonry.com. And you can go in here and question and answer to see what everybody else is uh, is saying. I also want to say, don't forget about our affiliate program. Our affiliate program, where that means you can come in and make money with us and help us spread this info. You can be a part of this that we're trying to grow and help. Right? So we have the affiliate program. So make sure you call and uh, find out, sign up to economicmasonry.com, sign up and say, I want to get in that affiliate program. If you come in, you got a lot of followers, mention us on there and get those people down. They come through you and come to us, document those people. Then you go in and say, hey, guess what? Every time you sell a corporation, you get a $1,000 or, or they come to us. You don't even sell it. They just come to us. You get a thousand dollars, five hundred to a thousand dollars is not discounted. Is uh, and you help people. Number one, help people, and God will give you all the rest. All right, so I'll be right back, Mr. McMillan. Question and answers. I'll be right back.
All right. Thank you, everybody, for your patience. Had a drink of water. And now let's look at question and answers and see what we can do. All right. Uh, Owner, you have payment plans. Yes, we have payment plans. Uh, I felt like I've been stabbed. I felt like I've been stabbed in the back. <laughs> you felt like you were stabbed in the back? <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, payment plan. It's funding 100% guaranteed. 100% uh, guaranteed, what do you mean 100% guaranteed? It is illegal to guarantee anything. When they say guarantee, they play some kind of games with it, but you cannot say. If I said, I definitely you'll have uh, $100 tomorrow and the world ends tonight, you'll be meeting me up in heaven talking about I'm suing you in heaven court. You said I just said I'd get $100 tomorrow. That's it. That's it. Uh, but we have tons and tons and tons of testimonials of real people with real money. Uh, does these teachings work for Swedish banks? I don't know about Sweden. Uh, <laughs> payment options. Okay, so let's start with the questions. Let's be uh, uh, polite. Let's go from female to male. And um, because a lot of times um, the males dominate uh, the question. So let's go from female to male. And uh, there's no such thing as a stupid question. So let's be polite. And please keep your uh, mic closed so that we can hear everybody else. A lot of times you forget to close your mic and we're hearing all kinds of stuff in the background. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> uh, so uh, also I want to make sure that uh, when you ask your question, Tell me your name, where you're from, and uh, just give me one question. Don't say, well, my next question is, right? Just give me one question, please. And so, and let's make that one minute. Don't give me the background and tell me about, well, let's just pose it in a question. Pose it in a question. Let's do one question, so I do one minute in each question so we can go through all of this. All right, so let's try. Dr. Vanessa Lynn, Dallas, what's your name, where you from, and what's your question? Who, who, who is that again? Who, who is that again? Who? Who? Excellent. So what's the question? Hold it in a question. Well, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, I just, I was supposed to do a seminar every two months, and, uh, they seem to be sliding things in there where I'm, uh, I'm doing seminars 
uh, I just did three in the last three weeks. And so that's, that's a bit, uh, heavy. Uh, you know, I have also, I have a car dealership. You know, we have, uh, uh, the Mechler Gold and Jewelry, Jewelry Store. We have, uh, uh, auto body shop. We have, uh, uh, you know, real estate. Uh, we're also purchasing a machine, uh, to build real estate called a, uh, 3D, 3D printer. You know, we have, uh, 79 acres of movie studios, servo motion, motion studios in California. We have, uh, I go on and on and on. We help take up the public. Uh, we do private equity. Uh, I'm building a, I'm building a, a fund. Uh, there's a lot and I cannot do three in a month. That I just got back to California, uh, day before yesterday, uh, from, from Philadelphia doing Doing Herman's uh, uh, two-day uh, seminar, huge sell, sold out, huge uh, theater, uh, and it's it's very nice, it's very exciting. But uh, you know, I just met the mayor a week prior to that, and uh, was in um, it was uh, in Florida. We did a seminar there, and then we hopped on a 128-foot yacht. That I rented out for everybody to have a nice time and, and food and dance and everything. Then I rented out another place uh, uh, for everybody to have a good time and kind of wearing me out. So, so uh, we probably won't do another one for two months. Uh, it's supposed to be a, a eight, a eight uh, state tour, but it is uh, it's not eight months. It's more like every three weeks that got me doing something. I just did, uh, what's his name? Uh, Meta. I just did Meta, a uh, Marvin. Meta Marvin. Nice guy, real nice guy, cool guy. Meta Marvin, he's in the spirituality and making things happen through spirituality. Uh, really, really cool guy, nice guy. Did Meta Marvin. I did Yaya Diamond uh, thing. I did Kevin Hart's thing at Kevin Hart Studios. Uh, I did Loon. I did Loon in 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 uh, at, uh, Atlanta. Loon wrote a lot of records for Puff Daddy. You know, I don't want to know if you played. You know, Loon uh, has popular podcast too much. You know. Yeah, yeah, and we keep hiring people, keep hiring more and more people, and it's just getting enormous, you know. But I, that's my that's that that's that's my thing. I want to, yeah. P's on the run now. P has the scenes though. Seems that way. He's having a he has some issues. Uh, that's why they pulled me from being being from doing that. But um. Yeah, looking like uh like June, in the June or something. Where where are you? Where, where are you? Right, right. Yeah. Great, great. And keep in mind, you know, uh, I don't know if you're going to buy and hold or if you're buying and, and uh, fixing it up and then moving it. But, you know, always keep in mind, in my opinion, is if you're going to buy and sell, 
uh, one hedge fund selling, and then another, another hedge fund buying. Have you back in buy in flip? You're welcome. All right, Dennis. Well, what's your question? What's your name? Give me one question, please. One question, and don't give me the background. Just pose it in the question. Okay, let's go. Uh, Swari, uh, Lafi, Lafi. What's your question, brother? You want to have something to do with the money the moment you get it because the amount of interest that they're going to give you is pennies. <laughs> they, they're using your money. The moment you put it in the bank, they're moving that money right away. Nobody sits on money. Money is meant to be moved. So you How much is the compound interest? At a hundred thousand dollars, at you know, uh, you're gonna put what? Get uh five thousand dollars a month. You know what you could do with with uh see those things are long term investment. You got three bucket plan. One bucket is to have money coming in that you're making money from. You don't have to worry about your lifestyle. Second is real estate second is third is long term that's your retirement money and your children's money so so that's how that goes you don't go get a hundred thousand five hundred thousand dollars and plant it in the swab swab is going to take that money and move it on quick 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 investment so that's what you need to be doing with your own money and then they're going to give you a little piece you know, 5% interest or something like that. That's no money. Okay. All right. Uh, what was this? Isha Richardson. What's your question, sister? Nobody, Bobby didn't reach out to you. You're in Virginia. You're in Virginia. You are in Virginia. In North Fork. Okay, so somebody be reaching out to you. Uh, 
somebody be reaching out to you probably tomorrow. All right. You're in North Fork, Virginia, 505. Your phone number starts with 505. Okay. So somebody be reaching out to you. Okay. And how are you and the baby doing? I know they have some people that, that donated some money over there. So your brother is going to uh, uh, reach out to you? something so what is the deal with your with your family your brother is not uh helping you out huh Yeah, no kid's mother. I no no kid's father. Okay, so we'll give you a uh uh call probably tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so Bobby will probably call you tomorrow. Okay, let's see. And my condolences about your mom, that's horrible. So let's see. Uh, did I talk to Swally? Uh, Swally? What about Farley? Yes, sir.
Okay. Give me that information. Give me it in a question. What's the question? Well, you don't, you don't, and you don't do a business plan when you haven't had a corporation, a company for two years. A business plan is when you do, you haven't had a company and paid taxes for two years. So you don't do a business plan. But when you get in your corporation and trying to get funding, you're the PG. So there's no need for a business plan. A lot of things that they do in school is not uh is 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 not really applicable in uh banking because banking policies change all the time so the quest answer your question is is yes uh we do give you like i said earlier we do we go in and we try to give you a, a lot of information to prepare you for funding that's the answer Let's see. Is there a sister, a lady? Is there is there a lady? Thomas C uh let me see. There's, there's, yes, there's, there's, uh, yes, there's a lady, but can you open your mic? Can you open your mic? If there's a lady, open your mic. Oh, yes. The lady with the who? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you? I want you to go in and look at Neil Garfield. Neil Garfield. And he has a blog called Living Lives. Back in 2007 and 2008, uh, I worked with Neil Garfield, and he's one of the top uh, attorneys that used to train other attorneys at 100,000 just to learn what he knew. So I want you to go to Neil Garfield. His blog is Living Lies. You got a lot of a lot of information on that right from there. No, that's uh Obama changed the securitization laws. So uh, the things that we used to do are kind of, you can still do them, but you need a whole team. I need a whole team to do that. But you don't need, us. you don't need, you don't need us. I like to show you how to do things yourself. So, Neil Garfield. Living, living lives. Not too many people are going to know more than him. <laughs> you too. Mr. Uh, did I talk to Farley? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, 
or the Amari Yukon News. What's your question? Okay, so your question is, how do you purchase a, a house with a corporate Anytime you buy uh, land or anything uh, that's commercial, so they're usually going to want, you know, uh, you know, 20, 25% down or something like that. But banks don't lend to land. They want a house on land. They lend better to, to or land uh, when there's a house on it, right? So my your, your best bet is to... Uh, when you when you get land, see if that person will carry the note. If they will be the bank. We're business business women. We don't put down nothing. So if you do, you put down a small amount, but you get them to be the bank. And most people that sell land will carry the note because they know it's difficult to get a loan from the bank. And once you drop a house on the land, once you own the land. They will a lot of times will build the house uh, 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 because you own the land. They will build the house, and once the house drops, it, it's worth double whatever you paid for the whole thing. So, if you, I would try to get somebody to carry the note. Well, this Caldwell banker, they're not going to carry the note. It's, uh, you know, <laughs> you got you got to buy land from a from a person that owns the land. If they have it or something like that, you know, they might carry the note. But a lot of times, you want to make the deal directly with the person that owns the land. That's and land is everywhere. Got it. Got it. All right. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Is there a uh, a, a lady? Hello. How are you? Huh? Yes, Kendra. Uh, you get the corporation. You get the corporation to start building a corporation and simultaneously having somebody work on your credit. Because you 
going to need personal credit if you unless you unless your corporation already has a bunch of credit in it then you're going to need a personal guarantor which means you need to have good good credit or not good credit but a good FICO no late no derogatory and that's easy to fix just hire somebody to fix it we can send you to somebody that can help you out that we know that that works on that but if uh Bethany uh okay um uh, uh were, were you out at the seminar Kendra okay uh let me see can you put your name in the uh 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 in the uh in the chat there and your name and your number name number and 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 email too. Put the email in there too, so we don't we don't mess around and not can and cannot find you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's see, Mr. Dennis Rump. Did we call you? Yes, sir. We do this uh, on uh, every Tuesday and Thursday. Every Tuesday and Thursday at five o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time. That's California time, and at eight o'clock Eastern time, and seven o'clock uh, Texas time, Central. So we do it twice a week, free. So we give out free information, uh, and uh, so we can. So you don't need us, so you can go in and do things yourself. So that's what we do. All right. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a uh, we have an economic masonry. Dot com. Economic masonry. Economic masonry, like a dot com. Go there, got the website. You're welcome, Dennis. Wrong. You too, brother. Let's see. Another lady.
You're welcome. Who is this? Okay, you're welcome. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome. So, anybody, any other sister? Any, any other? Yeah. Good evening. Thank you. Uh, I want everybody here who's interested, there's something for everybody. So I want everybody here to put, if you're interested in getting funded or something that we're saying that you like, I want you to go in and put your name into the chat so that uh, somebody can call you back and let you know how we can help you. Uh, Either with your credit, either with your, with your website, the pitch deck, your uh, your corporation, uh, whatever it is. If you're here just trying to learn, that's fine. I want to give you the information. If you're here trying to see how you can get things going, I want you to put your name and number in the chat here and somebody come out and reach out to you. Economicmatrix.com. If you're not here on live, then you can go into... Uh, uh, economicmatrix.com and if you're serious about moving forward and getting your, you know, some kind of legacy for your family and your children, teach your children. I don't know how to stress that. Go to economicmatrix.com, fill out that info and put in there and say, Bobby. You say, I say, Bobby, then we know that you are on here and you're trying to find out, you know, how you can get uh, funding. We have all kinds of things going on where you can succeed. Remember, knowledge is not power. You can listen to this stuff all day. But if you don't do anything about it, you no, know, action is power. Doing something with the knowledge is power. <laughs> okay. I don't mind. I'll teach you, teach you, teach. And if you don't do anything about it, then maybe your children will get it and they'll, they'll do something about it. That's the whole thing right there. Keep the children. But if you're interested. Yeah, why should why, why should Donald Trump uh, and Paris Hilton only be uh, his dead children have trust funds? We deserve that too. They're just not teaching us this. Somebody's got to do it. So just leave your information in the chat there and say, Bobby, if you're out there, go to economicmasonry.com, economicmasonry.com, and sign up. And don't forget, we have an affiliate program. So, Sister uh, Aisha Richardson, we have a, a affiliate program. So, if you have people that you know, or people that are, uh, you know, you have followers or family or whatever, bring them here. They sign up with us. You get a thousand dollars. You know, if you don't discount the court, uh, or $500 if you discount it, but you know, there's money to be made. You're sitting back doing nothing. You're coming in, we're showing them, we're holding them by the hand, we're helping them, and you get paid. This is our way of being able to spread this so more people can learn. We do this for free. All that stuff on the internet, all that 
gain tons and tons is free. And and by the way, don't be fooled by the people that are going on there acting like they're me, because now there's about 150, not 150, people taking my pictures, my videos, and putting them on their stuff and acting like they're me and scamming people. And they're going and saying, oh, this I'm Derek Whitehead, and, and sign up for our insurance, and sign up for our Bitcoin. We don't do that. We don't ask you for money. If there's something that you want us to help you with, then we'll send you a link. But we're not going to go in and ask you for money. That stuff is all free, and this is free. And you don't, you don't, you don't need us. Just listen to what I'm saying, and you can do it yourself. So, like I said, an affiliate program. You know, this stuff that you're learning, you can help other people with this and charge them. So if you're out there, go to economicmentry.com and sign up right there on the website and put in Bobby. Or if you go in and have somebody talk to you and say, I would, Mr. Derek said uh, that I can speak to Bobby or speak to someone there and ask them. You have a whole group of people that I pay to answer your question. Okay? Did you try already to speak to somebody? Last time we had a person come on and say that, we hired them. <laughs> yeah. What what state are you out of? Kentucky. Okay. And uh, and uh, well, you were at the um, seminar. Oh no, I don't. That's okay. Well, we will probably do it in about two months. Uh, they've been running me all over the place, as I said, so we're going to try to get it done in two months. Uh, uh, Got to tend to a lot of other stuff that I actually do, like, uh, you know, private equity and taking companies public and things like that. So uh, this is what I do to help so that other people can learn what these other people already know. Right? And we learn this in, and we need to learn this in high school. All right? So, so uh, if someone doesn't reach out to you, let me know. Because uh, we do this on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Come back Thursday and say, nobody answered me, and then I will give you a call personally. How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, what's your... Uh, uh, Rachel, can you take her number down so I can call her? You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, let's go to uh, uh, Thomas C. Tucker. All right, let's go to so much more film. What's your question? How you doing, brother?
Dollar Collection. Uh, I want you to call, uh, go in and, and I want you to get in touch with Tosh about, get in touch with Bobby. Uh, can you take his number down and have him uh, and, and put next to his, his name, Bobby, with Rachel? Okay, cool. And, nope. Yeah, she's going to take your information. Send it to Rachel. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mr. Harper, did we call you? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you, brother. You said an accredited investor? Uh, to become an accredited investor means that you have uh, 250000 that you can lose and not hurt your family. So once you reach that level, then you become an accredited investor. And at any time you're going to uh, invest in any, anything like that, invest in like you know, uh, uh, like some serious stock or whatever, they want to see an accredited investor. So they will check you out, look through, you know, make sure that you are that, that you, that you can, you can stand that blow. And it's $300,000 uh, if you have a, if you have a, uh, if you're married, so that's how you become a credit investor. Yeah, so that means you're going to have to have, you know, uh, $300,000 if you have a family member of just you two fifty. Uh, you have to be able to make that a year. Got it? That's right. Okay. You're welcome. Nice seeing you there. Is there another lady? Okay. How about, uh, uh, Al Houser. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You said a reverse merger. Oh, 
public is that simple. You get 35 investors at about $2,500 to $3,000, uh, accredited or non-accredited, and uh, and now you can go public. Simple as that. It's not all that difficult. It's not all that. 35 investors. Or you could do a reverse merger. Just like we buy a shell corporation, we can buy a shell corporation. Shell corporation is when somebody then sold the corporation that was publicly traded. Maybe they got old, maybe a family member passed away, whatever, but they don't want to do it anymore. So they sell the publicly traded company as a shell. You put your shelf or your company in that and you have to call a reverse merger. Now you're publicly traded. So you can buy a publicly traded company or you can go the long way. It takes a year to take 35 investors and to go public with an SEC attorney. Simple as that. Some shillages. What's that? Okay, Shilajit, never heard that before. See, I mean, this boy, I'm telling you, this uh, all kinds of good stuff comes out of here. <laughs> Shilajit, never heard that before. Nobody knows everything. What is, what is, uh, how do you spell that? S H I. And you can buy that anywhere, huh? Health food stores. Wow. So how do you know this stuff, brother? Okay, so you have a a place you have a, you sell these products or uh, you have a whip you have. That's right. So you have a, uh, uh, someone said sour soup, sour, sour, sour sock. What's that?
and it'll put one at his fifteen dollars a pound. Yeah, so uh so do you have like a a website? So I would suggest that you get a uh, 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 email. You do have an email. So put your email up there. And uh, I'm sure a lot of people would like to learn more of this information because if you don't have health, you don't have anything. You could have all the money in the world. But if you feel miserable, it just, oh, it just doesn't work out. Or you can put your email up there. Maybe there's a bunch of people that may uh, be interested in what you're talking about. We're here to share and to help. No more like those crabs that one crab getting out the barrel and the other one grab hold of him, pull him back in. That's got to stop. It's got to stop. It sounds like it. Sounds like Yeah, exactly. And you said, yeah, I, I, I didn't I didn't know anything about that. You know, my thing is finance. So, you know, nobody knows everything. So we come on here, we can learn stuff from everybody. That's the whole game. That's what this is about. You know, but uh if you can, brother, you can put yourself the uh put your uh email up there and people can ask you about that Bob perhaps you can supply them with with a little information for a small price, or or a little uh, 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 some of this some of this stuff you can sell to them. We need to have. That's right. That's right. The ancestors are watching. All right. So thank you, brother. Thank you for that. And thank you, Dr. Vanessa. Thank you. Uh, let's see. How about uh, Zoom user? I don't know if we're going to be able to answer all the questions here. We may have to wait till Thursday. So we got two more questions to answer. Okay, how about Sean Swinson? Yeah. You bought the corporation album. You bought it last month. You bought the corp last month, or you in a program? 
Okay. And what's your name? Shimon. Good. Okay. And what's your phone number? Well, I don't know. Okay. Uh huh. And have you, uh, did you get a registration form or did you pick the corp out or any, what? Okay. And you picked the one out and sent it back. That's right. So you wanted to. Okay, so somebody will get in touch with you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You will. Thank you. Let's see, Brother John Green. Good, good, good. No, it's a season age corp, so it's already been bought, but it's been put on a shelf, so it has a name. So you, uh, the name doesn't matter. It's, it's meant to get funding, right? It's meant to get funding. So you pick the name. If you want something specific, then you do a DBA and make the name the nice name that you want as a DBA. Put it underneath the corporation. You're welcome. All right. So Rob Foster, what's your question? Good, how are you? How are Uh, from the time you get the corporation, well, that's, that's uh, something you got to really have your, I got to see your credit. I would have to see um, a lot of things to determine that. You need a good FICO. You don't need a bill to pay that score. You're just going to need a PG. And, we, and, and the FICO 
is not a, is not the score. The FICO, a score is a score. A FICO is, is about many things, you know, having your name right, having your address right, having now no more than three inquiries, no more than uh, no less than five lines or things. Right. Yeah, if you have, uh, see, people say to me all the time, I'm straight. And then I look at their stuff and I say, well, what's up with this bankruptcy? Oh, well, that bankruptcy I had, that's such and such. So I'm not saying that you're not right. It's just that I would be unprofessional to not be able to look at your stuff and give you a definitive answer. So the best thing to do is if you're ready for funding and you got your corporation built up, your corporation should be able to be built up. Uh, it depends on how fast you move as far as your corporation. If your corp if your credit is straight and your corporation is built up, you go right into funding. You know, you go right in and, and uh, get it funding. We're not brokers or finders or funders or, or any of that. We're consultants, so we guide you to people who believe that can do that for you. But once you get over to there, uh, uh, what I want you to do is, is that everybody here should be trying to get in touch with Bobby. He has a whole team over there. And he will answer that question because he will look at your stuff and then say, this is what I see, this is how long it takes. But once you go in the, once you got all your stuff together, you know as well as yeah, I can just go in and start looking for money. Whether you, if somebody buys it or not, you have to pay your annual fees. Every year, your annual fees. You could have California is $800 just to have a court. A lot of other places are just $50 a year. But you have to keep that. I don't remember what New York is, but all you got to do is go and look up New York. Uh, F O S uh, annual fees. Let me tell you, it's, it's my job. That's my job. That's what I do. <laughs> Everybody. That's what I'm talking about. You know, my point of view, you got to go in, you got to, you know, be able to teach and learn how to fish so we can teach our children. That's what's on the line. That's what's on the line here, brother. <laughs> going on the line. You don't teach your children, it's going to be our fault when you don't like all the older people go up and say, it's, it's a shame the way that, the way that child, the way that boy behaves. It's a shame. Ooh, that girl. Something else. It, well, you you uh you should have been teaching us something. <laughs> you gotta blame yourself, right? You live in a community. You saw her walking up and down the street. You saw her acting, you know, outrageous. You saw him acting outrageous. You should have caught him when he was little. Now he's big. Can't be not with him, and he's looking at you saying, "Oh, really? You better not say nothing." You tell me you quit talking nothing before. Now you want to talk about me. So now that's, that's from my point of view, you know. Yeah, you know, the way it is.
Man, and, and God first, brother. We know we it all called all belongs and we're going to stay. You're just following it. <laughs> Follow time, right? <laughs> and, thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. That means a lot to you. And what'd you say your daughter's uh, website was? Five out candy code. Right on, right on. Thank you, brother. Thank you, you see me. Thank you so much. All right, Gilbert, it's your question. Yeah, no, I said C Corp as the mama. Then down the back is the DBA doing business back up to the C Corp and out is the holding court. And after the holding court is the trust. Got it? No, shareholders. You've got a corporation and the people who own who control the uh, money? They don't call it money. They control. They call it asset. People that control the trucks or the cars or, or the houses or the money or the whatever. They call that that they they call that uh, 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 shares. So how many shares in a corporation? You got to look it up and see how many you have in your articles. And look at how many shares you have, and now you got to make those shares worth something. Yeah, worthless until you start getting money and having the corp have to be worth something. The corp to get some trucks, to get some cars, you got to get some real stuff. It gets some money flowing through it. It's worth something. Keep it building and building. Now it has the shares are what they call the asset. And the asset in the C corp. You give to the holding court. And in the holding court, whoever's in the holding court who control the shares in the holding court are in the trust. Put their put their name, put them in the trust. Right. Uh, 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 the ones in the holding court are the beneficiaries of the shares in the C court. And the ones that's in the trust, the beneficiaries of this of the shares of the holding court are in the are in the trust. The beneficiaries. Got it. All right. So, Jay, what's your question?
Uh, you said LLC or C Corp. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so LLCs are limited. That's why I call it an LLC. That means limited liability. Limited with liability. That means uh, you, the bank doesn't like limited. You get a little bit of money when you get limited. So you need a C Corp. And an A C Corp, because banks don't like rookies. If you're a rookie and an LLC, you get a limited amount of money and a little bit of money because you knew. So if you don't have the money to get a proper age season shelf court, so you don't look like a rookie and you're not something that's limited, then you use your LLC to get some money, little seed money, so that you can get that seed court. Got it? That's why I was saying you have to get your LLC and get a little bit of money and then go get what you need to get. Seed money, you call it. Okay. That's what I would think. Oh, wow. Cool. All right. Soft sap, Jamaican soft sap. So what was the man's part? Soft sap, Areba? F A F A R F A P. Right. So can you put it? Oh, that's Barella. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the real. Got it. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, that is uh everybody on the chat, if you can, can you uh try to keep the comments and everything focused on the information that we're talking about. Because if not, people will start reading the chat and they get sidetracked and not pick up 
what we're trying to uh, educate on. Okay. We're making time because on the flight, on the flight, the Mexican one will give you the run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you for that. <laughs> we don't want the run. <laughs> okay, I'll stick to the Jamaican. All right. <laughs> Somebody said on here, it says, get the, uh, uh, Miss Whitey, get the uh, uh, Mexican sarsaparilla. Because if, because if you get the uh, other one, it'll give you the run. So <laughs> I don't want the run. <laughs> I don't mind running, but I don't want the run. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we are a, a wonderful family here. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God, boy. Civil rights, what's your question? That'll be the last question. Well, uh, there's a lot of people ask that question, and, and my answer to them is, is, if you believe in yourself and you go and follow the, the rules of getting a corporation, when you get a corporation, brother, and you get money, that money is debt. That's not, that's not considered income. So when you get the corporation and that's debt, uh, you're not taxed on debt and on any stuff or anything like that. It, it is when you invest the money and make money from it. So if you go in and you lose money, that doesn't count as, as anything. But if you gain money, then believe in what you're doing and do things the right way and make your transition over into making money instead of receiving money. Right, so you got to get your get your uh, company, do your business. In my opinion, from our perspective, we're not brokers, we're not farmers, we're not attorneys, we're consultants, and uh, we're not a, uh, a finders or tax people or any of that. So if you need anybody in those areas or lawyers, whatever, please, uh, you know, keep those people out. We are consultants, and this is our perspective. From my perspective, uh, I would say that if you start your, start your company and then you go in and buy yourself a fourplex with the money, then the people at the top pay you and the people at the bottom pay your mortgage. And you won't have to worry about any of that anymore. And after you do that, then you go and buy you another one and another one. And that should get you right out of where you need to be, in my opinion.
You know, that's, that's, in my opinion, real estate. 75% of all the people in this country that become millionaires, I didn't say all, that's 75% who become millionaires become millionaires through real estate. And that's to be a part of any wealthy person's portfolio. Real estate, that's why they call it real. That's why they call it the landlord. And the landlord, they don't matter if you got disability, uh, you know, uh, uh, six foot nine or five foot, four foot, 11, uh, it doesn't matter. No slew foot, bow leg, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Everybody. Well, I understand that. I understand that. But my children's mother is, uh, uh, receives benefits from the military. So, because she's a, you know, disabled vet, you know, but she functions and everything. I mean, so, uh, I understand uh, uh, disabled comes in many forms, but they don't care what form it is. When you're the landlord, you're the landlord. So that's where I will go with that. Okay? You're welcome. Thank you, Wendy. Is there anybody up here that I did not call? Well, all I do is work, so. Uh, <laughs> okay, thank you, everybody. Hello. Yeah, that is a nice thought. <laughs> He's drugging all over the place. Be nice to uh, have that. So, uh, okay, okay, all right. Okay, so this is Alpha Incorporated 360 CEOs, and we are not brokers, we're not finders, we're not attorneys, we're none of that. This is Derek Whitehead, we are uh, consultants, the 360 CEOs, because we want to teach you from zero all the way around. It's not a piece of the pie, but 360 is a full circle. So we want to go in and show you from A to Z on how to get that money. Now remember there's level for this thing. There's level for this thing. So you're not just gonna go in and go get yourself one, two, three, four hundred thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, million dollars. That's your micro. But what is your macro? Think. Think. What is your macro? We're always trying to think how I can I can get into my own business. But after you get in your own business, it don't take much to do that. That's pennies to the bank. We want to think about a billion dollar deal. What is your billion dollar deal? You know, step out of that ordinary world. Don't be afraid of the big numbers. You deserve this. So get out of what they've been trying to teach you that you're supposed to work every day, work, 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 work and work and work. Okay. Leave something for your children, but enjoy yourself now. Talk about I'll get mine and by and by. No, we're going to enjoy it now and uh, take the step. And we, remember, we cannot sit around and think that's just going to come to us. You got to take this information and use it. You can sit on the couch and have a PhD, knowledge ain't power. When you're sitting on the couch, you ain't doing nothing. Knowledge is not power. All right, so you have to get up, and get it popping. That's why all those Egyptian statues, they got one foot forward. You know why that is? Because it says, Man must be, and woman must be in motion. And not just run around on a, like a hamster on a wheel, ain't getting nowhere. You got the information, get it popping, get it moving. And think about that billion dollar idea. Why do I say a billion dollar idea? Because if you think about going, like getting to the moon and you only get to the stars, you're higher than everybody else on this dad on planet. So teach the children, of Derek Whitehead, I can't be Malcolm X, I can't be Martin Luther King, but I can be Derek Whitehead and I can do my part 
Uh, but if you go out trying to help people, remember, corporations don't have morals. Corporations don't have morals. Let's start thinking again. All right, well, uh, just a little bit. If corporations don't have morals. They are under water law, not moral law. You are under moral law. Now, I should not say they don't have morals. So you have to bring the morals to the table. I'm not trying to show anybody this where they can do anything illegal. I'm not trying to show anybody how to do this so that they can think they better anybody because now you have got yourself some money. If you wasn't, if you wasn't a cool person before you had money, you're gonna be double uncool when you get some. So it all comes to God and it's gonna come from, from God to you and he owns it all. Just giving, you will receive 10 times more. So don't chase money, you're never gonna catch it. <laughs> All right, just work this plan, get your money, and then try to help out a little bit, and you'll see how much you'll be prosper. Right, we're gonna stop being that half that field in that house. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so Derek Whitehead, uh, I want to leave on a good note. So I'm gonna say, who's gonna teach you all this all night long, answer all your questions for free? But on the internet, anywhere. And I want everybody to repeat after me. Nobody. Ready? Who's going to teach you this on the internet for free? Right? Ready? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> all right. Thank you. No, bye. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, we do this twice a week. I'll see you on Thursday. God provide. And uh, my man said, uh, Denzel Washington, he said, make sure that you put your shoes deep underneath the, underneath the bed, your house shoes, slippers, so that when you get, so that when you get up in the morning, you got to get on your knees to find them. <laughs> God bless y'all. Talk to you. Yeah, Mr. White is preaching again. <laughs>